infants and moons Welcome, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to the greatest event to take place here in the Pfizer Forum. We call it Flat Out Friday. We are thrilled you guys braved the harrowing conditions of snow and winter here in the greater Wisconsin area. You are in store for one of the greatest nights of action you will ever see live and in person. My name is Micah Kranz. I will be your host for this, the 10th year of Flat Out Friday. And oh boy, do we have a bunch of fun and tricks in store for you today. I am not alone in doing this currently. We have people all over the floor. But more importantly, I want to introduce a couple people. First, our DJ, DJ Kevin, throwing all my favorite songs I've never heard of in the middle of the floor. My man, Mark Martinich, is down there getting the crowd ready. But I want to introduce to you our voice of the floor, one of the first ladies of dirt track racing. It's our friend, Chatty Maddie. Chatty, are you here with us today? Hey, what's up, guys? Chai and Maddie here, and I am so excited to be here. Pfizer Forum, are you ready to see Flat Out Friday? You guys are not loud enough. One more time. Pfizer Forum, are you ready for Flat Out Friday? There we go. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Chatty Maddie, and I'm proud to be part here of Flat, of Flat Out Friday. Man, Mike, I'm ready to kick it up a notch. I am as well, and as all Flat Out Fridays, it's not your normal show. This isn't, this is as close to a punk rock concert in the basement of a house you're ever going to get to. And to prove that, we're going to pay our respects to the country in, in a unique and very, very interesting way. I want to introduce to you one of my favorite bands right here from Milwaukee. They are going to lead us in the playing of our national anthem. That is our friends at Farrington's Highway. Let's 
Jared, come on, I want to hear it over here. I want to hear it over here. Come on, let's go. Over here. Come on, you're making an old man run, let's go. All right. Milwaukee, you're about to see one of the best motorcycle events. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is the place to be in North America tonight for the greatest racing we could possibly put together on the size of a basketball floor. There is no other event like this one. It is a whole different mindset, a whole different crew, and more importantly, we have a whole different camera angle. As you can see, we are coming into the 21st century with some of the greatest technology to give you more angles, more perspective, because flat track racing is so user-friendly. We've got professionals, we've got semi-professionals, and then we have down right criminals riding in the boonie bike classes today. You are going to see an absolute spectrum of motorcycle racing. We have e-bikes, which are going to be the future. We've got two strokes. We've got four strokes. We've got V-twins. We've got Europe bikes. Every type of motorcycle you can imagine is going to be raced on the floor this evening. I can't wait to do it. As you can see, that drone is having fun. We are pumped. You guys braved the weather to come out here today. It is just a normal Wisconsin winter, nothing to be afraid of, and we appreciate you being here. But I want to throw it back down to our girl on the floor, Chatty Maddie, what is the vibe like down on the race area? Man, the adrenaline down here is just astronomical. We've got over 150 bikes here in the pits here, and they are loading for open amateur race number one. Micah, tonight the pits are just full, and I'm sure the atmosphere in the crowd is just as high. Go right to, oh, I'm pumped. We're going to go right to open you amateurs. As you said, but uh, that Farrington, Farrington's Highway intro was one of my favorite parts of the show so far. You know, a little bit left to center, a little bit right to center, just either way, not right at all. And that's exactly where we need to be. Welcome all the kids. You are going to see so many things you have never seen before. We are pumped to have it out here. Motorcycles are for every age range. We've got kids, we've got adults, and first up, we've got the open racing coming up quick. As you can see, we have riders up on the area from all over the country. We have people all the way from Brazil riding with us tonight, but a lot of Illinois, a lot of Midwest. This is the place to be. I'd like to remind you, we are going to the one show out in Portland, Oregon, to our West Coast. You should follow us out there. But this is our first race of the evening. We already had qualifiers. These are going right into our semifinals. You want to get top three or four in this to get your guaranteed transfer onto the final round. As you can see, a lot of riders. And we're going to, oh, we got some false starts. We got some jump starts. We got to re-rack the whole thing to get them where they need to be. We got excellent scoring systems. It's been fast all weekend long. If anybody made the Booney Bike Winter Nationals at the various areas, especially last night, down at the Harley Davidson Museum, you know we are all about racing. Anything we can put on the board, anything that's fast, heck, anything that's slow, we want to put it out there. Back with me is the greatest hype man in the business, our friend Mark Martinich. Mark, tell me a little bit about the open class. All the hot shoes are the, the about to be pros and the guys that should have been. Oh, and they're off. These guys are jumping all over the place. You can see. Oh, yeah. Hucking and bucking and riding and sliding. This course is not user friendly. You got to be absolutely brave to make a pass. The start is going to be everything out here today. Number 47. Staying on the gas is everything, Mark. Oh, you betcha. 
you got to you got to really hit it and stick it to get around that turn, make so, that bike turn. So what is your best bet? Do you wait for lap traffic to come at you, or do you just kind of pin it and see where you end you up? You pin it and you see where you end up, and you work your way through, and you use those back markers for strategy to get and to get keep your rivals behind you. As you can see, we got a lot of rubber ray right down on this concrete. That is the only thing keeping these motorcycles upright. And like you said, it's going to change all night long, right? The more rubber that gets laid down, the you're going to get you're going to actually get raw patches. You're going to get breaking, you're going to get breaking patches. You're going to get thick spots and thin spots. Yeah, you can definitely see, man, putting a left foot on the ground and just staying as close as you can. There's a wide amount of track that's available. Yep. But lap traffic has no idea that the first and second place are right on their heels. Yes. Well, you can't. There's no rear view mirrors. And our winner, number 47 with a wheelie. Heat number one of the evening, getting us started. Can I get a little bit of energy? Any Flat Out Friday fans out there? Can you scream a little bit at him? Let's keep this party rolling. Yeah. And this is Ooh, just the start. That. This is just the start of the festivities. We are partying all weekend long. Don't forget about tomorrow and Sunday, we'll be having our friends at Mama Tried over at the Eagles Ballroom. Check out some beautiful motorcycles. This is just the start of the kind of fun we like to have here at Flat Out Friday, presented by the Harley Davidson Motorcycle Company. Pumped to have them back once again this year. Levy Vander Galen, your winner in Heat 1, or Semi 1. We're just going to keep lining them up all night long, all right? right? Any, yeah. Any, Semi any... two, Cole Andreessen, Luke Sharp, Greg Avello, Robert Pettis, Dwayne Ferguson, Nick Rumble, Bo Sharp, Glenn Scherr, Robert Smith, Rocket Altman, and Andrew Embersall. So this class is just any motorcycle you want to bring. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a sportster next to some sort of That's a bull taco, two stroke from the 70s. We got four strokes, two strokes, 250s, 450s. It's kind of a run with Gibran. And look at the safety gear differences. We got a man in overalls and some oh. sort of Mexican sombrero. Old school JT, roost <laughs> guard, because, you know, there's a lot of roost on the cement. We got a man in a cigarette hooded sweatshirt. Yeah. All sorts of all over the Bons board. Bonsai Marlboro, he got all the points <laughs> to get that bike. Look at that chest protector. That's yeah. vintage. There's some guy on the internet that wants to buy that immediately. For like 300 bucks. Holy yeah. cow. We're going racing up. Three Y is their female. Really? Yep. We got him fast here tonight. He came all the way from South Dakota. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. That man's Mark motorcycle down just. Down on the ground. That man's motorcycle punched him in the face, Mark. Yep, and we're keeping, we're, we're up on green. That's Greg Avello on the 06. Wow, we're just going to keep him racing. There's no restart, no nothing? Nope. I love this party. If I'm, they're not directly in the race line, we're going to keep racing. That's the 03 of Cole Andreessen. From he's, Wisconsin. He's from got Earth pressure. Bay. And he's gotten past a daring dive to the inside to make the pass in the first place. Yep, that's Sharp right behind him. Another Wisconsin boy. Pettis from Minnesota in the in the mix also. Absolute pandemonium on the floor. Yeah. What's the technique, Mark? Where do you want to be? Do you want to take outside in? You want to no, you want in, you want to stay as inside as possible and defend that turn.
motorcycles. We got power and wheelies. They are off. Right off the gate. Too wide for the lead. They want Moves it. The Whoa. Lead. Our finish line. Oh, three, three wide. Serious racing going down on the floor. Heck yeah. Holy cow. The, Mo the Bucks had no idea this was going to be going on in their stadium this weekend. Sugar, your leader, number 34. Unreal racing. That was a great start. Oh, we got a man down on the far side. Oh, number 22. Morris, 22X. He's, he's trying to start the bike. He got it back started. He's back in the hunt. Number 34, though, your leader, working his way through lap traffic. Yeah, picking him off one by one. There's that outside lane we were talking about. It's not the easiest way to pass. No, it is not. You got to push the issue, and that wall comes up real fast. I mean, does the bike just stay lean? Do you ever get it fully back up to 90 degrees, or is not it the constant really. lap? If you stand the bike straight up here, it's already too late. Oh, wow. White, white flag, flag is out. Is out. Yep, we got one lap to go, half a lap to go. Here come the checkers, number 34. All right, open amateur. We got a whole bunch of classes out there. Presum presumably, we'll go to some sort of main or semifinal. Actually, this is semifinal down. Yep. We got a quick replay up here, Mark. Walk us through, would you? All right, they're coming in hot. He's way ahead. He's now he's got to work on lap traffic. And here come the checkers, and he's got it with it. He just rolls on through like a Sunday ride. If that race was any sort of precursor for what we're going to see out here today, it is going to be a wild night of racing. we got to pay some bills. We need you to watch some videos. We'll come back to Flat Out Friday here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right after this. This is our American dream, riding on the ragged edge of existence boundless and free. To each of us, the dream is different, but it has a common purpose, to show us what might be. It's the dawn of a new era at Harley-Davidson. Together we dream, and united, we ride. I'm Paul Weidman, founder of Barrelco Performance. We innovate, design, and manufacture the finest performance motorcycle parts on the planet. All of our products are 100% American made. We do not compromise on quality. Every single product we produce goes through one of our hands before being packaged and sent to you. We want to improve, we want to streamline, we want to make a part more efficient, we want to solve a problem. So if you want to go faster, stop quicker, or look better, BarrelcoPerformance.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen.
bike race bike racing in the pro class. Wow. With Morgan Mishler and an AFT Pro on it, number 13, one to watch. I recognize some of these names from the X Games when they had Hooligan over there. Yep, you betcha, they're fast. All right, so we got the professionals out there. Like they said, no other class that can race. There's no boonie bike racers digging this one on. Right. We got Loyal Proc, Morgan Mishler, Ty Fessler, Seth Brendel, Lenny Bundle, and McLean Drucker. This will be the only heat and they're off. No, oh, Morgan with the whole shot on the electric bike up front, number 13. Wow, proving that the electric might just be the future. He takes a commanding lead here. Yeah. Talking to him, it's got three different horsepower settings. You buy one bike, it's 20, 30, 40, and 50 horsepower. Wow, and it's leading out front, but there's combustion engines right on his, right on his tail, like a pack of wild dogs trying to chew on his tail. Oh, oh 7F, Capabo. Holy cow, they, there's a lot of torque going on with those motorcycles. About as fast as you could possibly get in this sort of a footprint. All right. Wow. Our only semi for this. Next, we're going right to open hole again. Unbelievable. We got an e-bike out front. This is that's great. We're making history right now, folks. Hand Put your hands here. together for the e-bike. Oh, well, we got lots of speed. Couple laps to go. Keeping that again. I see a hole. There's not even like a clutch lever on that thing. No, there's nothing. You just twist and go. Wow. The future is weird, Mark. Yes, it is. Where's my floating car? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tucker flag is out. Awesome for the Double A Pro class. Woo! Morgan's happy. Oh, how do you not? How did? I mean, this is such a cool trophy on the wall. Right? Say you won the Flat Out Friday. It's very, very important. Unreal. Look at that kit. Look at that outfit. How do you get one of those? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> AFT Pro sponsorship. That's right. how. We got some of that drone footage. What do you think of the drone footage? I love Mark? the drones. Where's my floating car? <laughs> well, someday, I promise. Okay. You'll have it soon. I'm waiting. As you can see, once he took the lead, I mean, he almost power wheelied out of the, out of right. the gate. Right. Well, it's well. got tons of torque. It's instant torque because it's an electric motor. Giving him a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, right there. All they're all in it together. Those guys are out on the road together, town after town, day after day, weekend and weekend out, well, let's, all summer long. Let's take a look at our next class. We gotta learn about them first. And yes. that's gonna be our friends over at yeah. Hooligan University. Let's see it. There'll be a pop quiz later. All right, this is the premier hooligan class. Now let's remember, the riders must be 18 years or older. They cannot have been pros within the last 24 months. The motorcycles are 1986 or newer. They are street legal and the motors are 750cc or larger twins. Come on people, let's see it. We are already racing. Friend circle, this is what they want to do. This is what they want to win. Talk you about gotcha. how it's, it's gained popularity recently, correct? Oh my God, yes. It's just, well, you, you don't need a million dollars to get started with it. And it's a fun, fast, powerful bike that works on a lot of different kinds of tracks. There's a huge aftermarket for Harley parts. So it's a pretty easy class to get into. I remember hearing Rusty Butcher say how they used to bag motorcycle tracks to let them bring these motorcycles Absolutely. on. Absolutely. And now it's one of the most popular premier classes in all the flat track racing. And we brought it here. Oh, it's yeah. It's been a part of Flat Out Friday for a long, long time. Tons and tons of bump pass. Wow. By 48. Look at that. Is that a 750 or 1200, Mark? What is it? Those are mostly almost all, I Whoa. guarantee you, 1200s. Unreal. That is one of the best, I think, production bikes they ever did. I love that one. It's so fun. Oh, we got a man oh, down. Oh, no. Got a guy down. You never want to see that. Nope. He's up and OK, though. That's the good news. And the race is done. The Whoa. of Feely. It is getting loose out there. Yeah, the track is going to be, like I said, the track's going to be changing. As the rubber gets laid down, there's going to be a lot of different conditions happening out there. It's going to go from grippy to slippy. What's the night goes on? What's leaking out of those motorcycles? Is it all race fluid or is there also oil? I mean, what, what kind of things? Oh, uh, yes to everything. Yes. Even the moisture in the air from the people breathing is going to change the condition of the track. How often do they put down? You said it was Dr. Pepper earlier. How often will they do Just it? Just at the very beginning. It helps to make, uh, to build up traction in the beginning. And it also helps clean up at the end of the night. Does everything kind of affect it? I mean, is it? Uh, 
Obviously, they have like some sort of rags. Is there any other chemicals they put on it? Well, if you, can, if you see the entry to the turn right here, it's really dark. It's very dark, so they're laying down a lot of rubber and they're hitting the brakes there. And in, in turn three and turn one are getting more rubber than two and four. Interesting. All right, we got the track clean. We're gonna bring out some more of them hooligans. Like we said, a very popular class. Take us through the riders. Okay, the 33 of Shane Westfall, the 17 of Bubba Samuelson, the 15 of Gordon Rodowski, the Adam Holmes, number 51, Dylan Gritch, from number 714, Henry Zamfrey, number 14, X, Nathan Peter, 470, and Gang of Azale, uh, number 81. Wow, we got some international flavor in this round of racing. All the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil, number oh, 81, with I, a wheelie. I love my Brazilians, they're a great crew. Oh, they're so fun. They do some Mama Trot and Flat Trot racing down there as Woo, well. Oh yeah, they'll do tattoos for you too. Oh, look at that. What kind, of, what kind of motorcycles out front? I want to say that would be a 1200. That's uh, Bubba Samuelson, one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. He's got a mean left turn, to say the least. Yep, six foot six tall, and he's got a beard that's about a foot long. Number 17X, your leader. Next up is JV Booney. We're going to have two heats of that. Bubba, go, Bubba, go! Cranking it. He's actually gaining more oh, lead. Yeah. He is a very good rider. A technique, that form, more importantly, that motorcycle is a piece of art itself. Yeah. Bubba Samuelson, three to go for him. His first race was on a bagger at a half mile. Wow. That's a fast course to be going here first time. Yep, they dared him to do it. He went out and did it, and that's how he got hooked on racing. What is the length of this course, by your estimation? Uh, hundreds of feet, <laughs> a couple hundred feet. <laughs> All right, we got our winner. All right, Bubba, way to go, Bubba. Put your hands together for a guy named Bubba. Anybody winning wearing electrician's gloves is definitely the friend of mine. Oh, look at the beard. Look at the beard. That is awesome. And his name's Bubba. You can't beat it. Love this sport. I guarantee it just smells like exhaust at this point. Yeah. Oh, all yeah. Day long. Get some highlights out here. It's just beard and first place all over there, yeah. everywhere. Beard and checkers. That is fine for him. I mean, never once did he nope. release that inside line. No, he didn't. He, he stayed his line. That's one of the most important things in flat track is holding your line. It's time for one of my favorite classes. Yep. I mean, really, really one of my favorite classes. Yep. What up, everybody? Keep an eye on that big screen. There's a good possibility they're going to see you on it. And that is the JV Boonies. I love the Boonie bike class. It is the most user-friendly class. It is, it's kind of like the amateurs. If you want to get into something right. professional, this is where you start. You can get these off Marketplace. You can get these, uh, there's a couple of manufacturers out it's there. It's the gateway now. drug to, to flat track. It is so cool. There is no judgment. As long as there's a smile on your face, we want you racing. Some of these people take it very seriously. Most of them do not. Not, which right, is absolutely. And let's read them names off. Uh, Todd Westfall, Jake Alvaro, and they're off. 157, your leader, Darren Hack, out front. It looks like there's a paintball team currently racing in the booty bike class. <laughs> How many? They all dress alike now? That's yeah, crazy. That's it. All right, again. Oh, number 69, challenging. Can he get by him? He's Look, got the inside. Yes. He sets up for the pass, and he gets it done. Oh, all eight horsepower making it work yeah. down there on the floor, Mark. Number 69. What is the rule for a booty bike? Oh, uh, have one. That's about it? Yeah. Well, you have to have uh, certain wheat size wheels, and that's about it. Something about a pole start, I believe. Pole start and, and 10 and 12 inch wheels. Works for me. I think that guy doesn't even have foot pegs on that thing. Why would you even use them? Still in the lead. I knew this really big guy that raced with no foot pegs and did really good. Yeah, right yeah. I almost hurt my friend's mom. <laughs> yeah. That was a rough day. <laughs> We made it work, though. You sure did, buddy. Hey, we got a couple of laps to go. Again, this is the class we want you to start. We've been doing the Booney Bike Winter Nationals all week long here in the greater Milwaukee area. So and, we have, and we have races all summer long at the museum. Yeah, it's just fun. This is user friendly. And then imagine you can tell your friends, I did it on the floor of the Pfizer Forum. Right? Unbelievable. Absolutely right. Pavel with number 69 with two to go, one to go. Yeah, if he wasn't racing, he'd be tackled for being on the floor right exactly. now. Exactly. Looking yeah, like that. He'd be getting kicked out by security. Exactly. Sir, why are you down here? Why? Today, he's winning the Booney Bike JV race number one. And, oh, don't think we have more of this, because we do. We There's have tons more of this. Plethora more. Let's watch some highlights. 
Mark, oh, how important are speed wobbles when oh, you're in first yeah, place? You, make, you make, make one mistake here and you're done. You're going backwards instantly. Would that thing float if we put it in water based on the size of those tires? For a second. That'll work. Yeah. That's all we need. What up, homie? Welcome to the big screen. Yeah, wave, wave, everybody wave. Hi, you're on TV, AKA YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you're watching us at home. The most different racing you'll ever see in the entire world is right here at Flat Out Friday. My name is Mike Kronz. With me, Mark Martinich, DJ Kevin, and Maddie, our friend Chatty Maddie on the floor. We got nothing but racing left for you. And I'm telling you, the party is here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you for joining us if you're doing it on the YouTubes. But it's the place to be live is right here in downtown Milwaukee. The most fun. And uh, speaking of fun, we got some more Booney Bikes class. They're getting themselves lined up right now. You gotta love it. There they are. Mark, is it a whole other paintball team? Yes, absolutely. Unreal. That'd be Ooh. fun to do, just all of a sudden a paintball fight breaks out. Oh, paintball out. fight? Yeah. There might be something like that oh. happening. I don't know. Look at the stout boonies doing power There's wheelies off the gate. another heat of boonies coming up after this one. Oh, oh we got exits. Oh. We've got problems. Wow, the lead, the, the top three just took each other out. Oh, he's still going after the door oh, yeah. again. Good idea. Teach that boonie bike a lesson. Yeah, show it who's boss. You throw it on the ground. <laughs> you don't crash on me. I throw you into walls. Uh, yeah. And look, look at our flag person. If you could just get out of the way, kind of. Extra points for ghosties. <laughs> Who loves a ghostie? Unreal. Yeah, yeah, guys, try not to hit the person that just rammed up a concrete bunker. We really <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff on the track there. They're going to have to take a clean that up so people don't flip and fall. Oh, we just need a flamethrower. That'd be cleaning up in no time. I, I heard I'm getting one of those for Christmas. Oh, imagine being in that outside lane in the next race. That's With not going to be a flamethrower. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're going to clean that up. Oh, I love it. And here comes the white flag. Who's going to be our guy? One lap to go. The Booney Bike's not disappointing by any stretch of the imagination. Kevin Clark. Here we go. We got a checkered flag out and our uh, winner. Our winner. What a Number class. 22, Letterman. Mark, is it normal for motorcycles to be playing bumper cars out there like that? Uh, in an indoor, you betcha. <laughs> Unreal. Look at our track crew. Bunch of neck yep. tattoos. Oh, and yeah. Those out there. guys are crazy. Yeah. Nuts. nuts. Dressing like Where's Waldo. Here's look at, look at. Oh, my God. One, two, and three. 22 looks, just cruises into the lead. It looks like he didn't even try to turn. He just instead no, tried to like, T bone. Yep. Works in video games, does not work in no, the analog. This is so not Mario Kart. Holy cow, that was an amazing race. It just looks like it. That was crazy. That guy literally just took out two people, yeah. going, did not even try to be turned. I don't like you, I don't like you. Have you put some time on Booney Bikes, Mark? Yes, happened? I did. How, yes, what's they that are experience? so much fun. I can only imagine. You don't need a ton of horsepower to have a ton of fun. Yeah, look at the drone out there. If you got a drone Woo! flying by you, make sure you wave at it. Oh, wow, I'm getting airsick. We're going to make you famous. That's a view you don't see. Sawdust. You never see that view, Mark. This is beautiful. No, it is. Look at that. Look at that track. Look at this crowd. Woo! Homie, your sign's upside down. That's Hold fine. the sign the other way. Maybe Turn it works. Sign around. There you go. Hey, what up, Team Flannel? Woo! What's up, ladies? Welcome to Flat Out Friday. Pumped to have you out here. I think we are getting our next booty bike class out there. We yep. get the booty bikes like all night. Yeah, I would I, not be mad. I know you wouldn't. You love this. You love the booty bikes. All right. Jeremy Seiler, number 59, number 77, Alan Zawinski. Number 6, 97, Tyler Petrie. Number 9, 76, Clayton Dickerson. Number 9, 21, Ryan Tinnett. Number 7A, India Lindowski, and 7B, Joshua Mito. You know what's not close? Winchester, Tennessee. You came no. to ride a child's toy here in Milwaukee. Yeah. Uh, you drove 15 hours. Hell Ross. yeah, you gotta love the boonie love. Yeah, and now there's a blizzard outside. Yes. Welcome to Milwaukee. Yeah, welcome to Milwaukee. 20 he, minutes ago, it was 80 degrees. Heat number three, G, J, V, Booney is lined up at the line. I expect nothing but fireworks. Nope. Yep. There they go. And, oh, yep, a challenger too wide going into turn three. Wow, we got us a race. We got us a race. You don't need a million dollars to have a million dollars worth of fun on a booty bike. There's no way that helmet is DOT certified. Absolutely. I can tell by looking. <laughs> that thing is old, man. D-O-N-T, don't. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got someone down. Oh, whoops. Number 59 fell down. The pink paintball jersey. Oh, oh whoa. Number four. Not doing pirouette dances because your throttle's stuck. That's, that's pretty exciting. That, that's a thing. Yeah. Your throttle stick on these sometimes. Oh, and he chucks the air filter because why? You need one. Yeah, no, there's no sense. No. We didn't come here for air filter. There's part. no air filtering. Not at all. Couple of laps left. I have no filter. Our race leader wearing the checkers as a good way to do it, actually. Yeah, you know, you kind of trick everybody. Two left, four laps to go. Another fantastic heat. Yeah. How many booty bikes did you say we had during Eight qualifying? 8,000. Yeah. I know that this is one of the fastest classes to fill up. Yes, absolutely. It is so much fun. We've got some more booty bike racing happening this weekend. I believe Saturday there's still a race. So if you want to come check out these guys in the flesh, a little more analog up close version. White flag is out. We'd love to have you. Kevin Clark, the king of the flaggers, waving the flag. There's the checkers. All right, let's take a look at some of these replays, because that was a heinous amount of racing right yeah, there. Yeah, that was. They're... Oh, look at him. He's so happy. Look at him. Yeah, let's check out some of these replays. Whoa, Perfect. Whoop. Whoa. The throttle stuck the guy. Throttle stuck, yeah. <laughs> it's so, you know, that's the thing. You try to grab it in the throttle twist, and it's so small, it twists out from under you. Oh, that is a great race. What a great time. And now we're going to throw it down to our floor. I believe our friend Chatty Maddie has found someone to talk to. Chatty, take it away. Yeah, thank you. One of our first interviews here tonight at the Pfizer Forum, the founder of the One Moto Show, Tor Drake, is here with us in Milwaukee. First off, welcome to Wisconsin. We are so excited for your moto show in April. Yeah, it's great to be here in Milwaukee. What a great show you guys have here. You know, we're really excited to uh, celebrate our 15th year at the One Moto in the Pacific Northwest, and we're uh, excited to bring you guys out there too uh, for a flat out Friday at our show. Yeah, talk about 15 years with the One Moto Show. Talk a little bit more about that history for us here in Wisconsin. Well, it's probably the craziest motorcycle show that I've ever been to, uh, much less put on for 15 years. It's kind of impressive that it's gone on this long, and I started in my 20s not knowing a thing about what I was doing, and uh, over the years have evolved the show, and it's, it's a sight to behold. If you guys have never been out to the Pacific Northwest, it's a wild place. It's the wild, wild west, as they say. So. Yeah. We're super excited and pumped to be there April 19th through the 21st in Portland, Oregon for the One Moto Show. Super excited to have you. Thanks, Tor. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'll be out on the electric, uh, electric class racing tonight, too, so that'll be a good time. Oh, yeah, we'll see you out there. Thanks, guys. Micah, back to you. Thank you, Chatty Manny. That's my kind of motorcycle promoter. You put on a show, I'm, I'm also going to be racing. I'm going to race it, too. Well, let's learn a little bit about our next class with our friends over at Vintage Class at University. Next up, we have Open Vintage. 18 years or older to race. You must have brakes on the motorcycle. The bike must be from 1985 or older. Go, Vintage, go! Mark! I'm sorry. Mark! You didn't tell me you had a cameo on here. <laughs> now, I want to know the story, because chances are if there's rules that there has to be brakes, at one point they didn't have brakes. Why they didn't have brakes until 1970, because the brakes at 1970 were terrible. So what, they just didn't let you have, you, just, you didn't run brakes at all? You didn't was... run brakes, and then they started running brakes, and things got different. Talk to me about the motorcycles out there. I know you're a history buff. Okay, we got two strokes, four strokes. We got big Harley flatheads. Hand shifters, triples, singles, you name it, it's all out there. And it's a popular class. There's a lot of riders out there. Well, it, you don't, like, again, you don't need a million dollars to go dirt track racing, and there's proof right there. Some of these bikes should be in museums, Mark. Right, and some of these bikes were bought for 50 bucks, and I'm not <laughs> kidding. That is awesome. We got the vintage class coming in right now. Now, when you say brakes, how many brakes do they have? Just the rear brakes. No front brakes are allowed. So you don't even need a lot of brakes to race no, this class. No, no. Just, just one. A lot of these bikes depend on engine braking. Now, are they letting off the throttle? Are they, since it's rear brake, is it foot brake or is it hand brake? It's a foot brake. Wow. Or you can run a hand brake if you want. See, he's got one. Oh, we got someone down. Was that Shakes himself? Oh, some, oh. That's Danger Dan. That is Danger Dan. Riding some sort of chopper motorcycle Yeah, he's there. on a, I believe he's on a WL air-cooled uh, flathead. I 
like me the vintage class. Yeah, they're fun. They're the loudest motorcycle we've had thus far. They're very loud, and some of them are very fast. Old does not necessarily mean slow. I mean, you said this isn't a very powerful track. You just need more consistency than you do horsepower. Well, look at the number 15. He's running away with it, and he's just putting down good laps with a good rhythm. Three wide going into that corner. All right. Yeah, number 15, Zink, is also running in the Bruni class tonight. He's got the bright green Bruni with the clear covers on it. All right. All the way from Tennessee also. Wow, what a, the, the mid Midwest contingency. We hope to see all of you guys over at the One Show in Portland, Oregon. Not too far away. That's going to be a great place for Flat Out Friday to be. The vintage class putting it together. Here's some highlights. Mark, Tug, take us through it. All right. Well, here, if you can really see the leader with Zink, Number 15 with the rhythm. He has really good rhythm and really consistent turning. He just does his thing. And he takes the win. That's some wide handlebars if I've ever seen them. Unreal. Well, we got to get the track figured out. We're going to get some more motorcycles online. We're going to take a short break. We'd love for you to check out this video and come on back. We'll be here when, you're, when we're done. When we're done. When we're done with this thing. It's totally surreal to be at the end of the season already. It feels like it just started. Where do I start? I want to try not to cry. You know, it really like hit me coming into this weekend how much bigger this is than just us writers and the people in the tent. This year, the, the ladies, returning students as well as the new ones, are running the pace is 20, 20 seconds faster a lap. It's a lot. other women, a manager, and mechanics, and um, it's a factory ride, man. I mean, it was the, it's the coolest thing. I, I've dreamed of this all my life. The biggest takeaway from this program has been that women really can do anything, and that even though we're on the track and we're racing against each other, that every single person on this team is here supporting each other and encouraging each other and cheering each other on. But this is more than just racing. You know, we're, we're here to, for them to achieve something very personal or, or push themselves maybe outside their comfort zone and in, in, in what they imagined they could do. It's been an absolutely fantastic season this year. Enemies on the on the field and best of friends in the pits. And that was really, I mean, that really sums up BTR. GT650 proved to be an awesome base to excel on the track. Incredibly fortunate this year to have some incredible partners helping us out, some incredible sponsors. We hope that everybody's just enjoyed watching some amazing racing. We come from all walks of life. We don't need a reason to ride or even a destination. It's not what or where we ride that defines us because no matter where we're headed, it's what happens along the way that makes us who we are. We may not know where the ride will take us, but one thing's for sure. With the Law Tigers, you never ride alone. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, call 1-800-LAW-TIGERS. It is time to witness history. Oh. Reserve is on. That's how we do it. What a Go. moment. Mika Martian. History. Changing hands.
I apologize if you guys are sensitive to the smell of rubber. This is a collaboration between my brand, Royal Tan Design, and Royal Enfield. This is a Super Meteor 650. For us, this was a super exciting bike to build. Memphis Shades brings you a whole new level of style when it comes to motorcycle windshields and fairings. The quality, style, and selection set these products apart from the pack. Memphis Shades designs and builds all windshields, fairings, and hardware in-house. Raw materials in, finished goods out. Made in Memphis. Style that works. <laughs> My father started this business in April 1st, 1930. He bought it from an existing dealer in Kenosha, Wisconsin for $250. And your father, his whole life, never rode in a yeah, car? never drove a car. Did not like the way we got around, even in the wintertime, was on a motorcycle. A sidecar on the side or a box on the side, that's how we got around. It's in our blood, it's in our DNA. We're kind of the gateway into Wisconsin and they see our tower. We call it the jewel case. Harleys are the jewels. Makes me happy to be in this business, to see all the people and having fun. Nothing like riding a motorcycle. Nothing in this world. People from all over the world have come uh, through our dealership. A group of uh, people from Japan, France, Spain, you name it, all over the world are stopping by. Welcome everybody, we are here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, home of the greatest motorcycle company brand in the world, the Harley Davidson Motorcycles. We are at the home of the world champion Milwaukee Bucks basketball team. We have converted their organization into a flat track motorcycle. It's our 10th year of doing it. Mark, how excited are you on tonight's festivities? I am super stoked. I wait for this all year. This is birthday and Christmas for me. It is. You have brought more stoke to this floor than anybody I have ever seen. But we are going to throw it down to our girl on the floor who has a couple of uh, unique things we've had planned because if not surprises, why even come to something like this? Absolutely. Absolutely. This definitely fits the vibe of Flat Out Friday. For the most part, I mean, come on. But up first in our Flat Out Friday halftime show is our Stout Booney bike. It, they, they have a sidecar now. Matt Stout has just been so innovative with Stout Booney bikes with Icon Motorsports sponsoring this entire thing. First, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these sidecars. Let's bring them out. Bring out the sidecars. 
What do you mean by sidecar, Terry? I, I, I don't mean, understand. Yeah, what does that mean even? Sidecar. Yeah, so I mean, you think about a Harley car, you think about those little dinky little things on the side. You know, you want to include everybody who can't necessarily ride a motorcycle. So, so Staff Booney has come up with one an innovative way to include people who can't drive a motorcycle like me. And then you've got a passenger on the side, except, um, for example, I, I, I don't know, but there's, there's one cart missing. Um, uh, Micah, Mark, I don't know why there's somebody missing on the side. Oh, I think I, they had the flu. Maybe we get somebody. My, you guys are way up there. You guys can't make it down those stairs. Who no, can I put no. up here? Yeah, who, heck do I, no. who do we grab? Is there anybody like, uh, you, who built these things? Maybe I'm we really can get... sorry. I, I, I'm, where's Scott? Where's Scott from Mama Tribe? We hey, need Scott, hey, Scott Johnson to the floor, hey, Scott. please. Who wants Scott from Mama Tribe to ride the sidecar? Yeah, put yes. the hands together yeah, for on. Scott. Got, you've got an Icon Motorsports, I mean, riding gear. You've got a helmet. Yeah, put that on. Look, it even says Johnson on it. Oh, Icon look at that. Motorsports jacket. Quickly, come on. The race has got to start, dude. you got no pressure. You're on the sidecar. I promise. Get out there. <laughs> Get out I there. Those right Icon there on the side right sick. there. Let's hear it up for Scott. Scott Johnson joins the paintball team. 2024. Those Icon jerseys are slick, though. They are so cool. I like that. Okay. All righty. Stout Booney Bikes, Icon Motorsports Tag Team. And for the most part, that's Tag Team here, too, as well with the side cards. We're lining up our riders here, getting the thumbs up, ready to go. Green flag ready to drop. Front line over there as well. Oh, Green's out. Off. There is not enough room for this much type of apparatus yeah, no, on the floor. It, it looks a little sketchy, I'll give you that. Wow, how do you do it? You just lean over you that. You gotta lean. The person sitting on the sidecar is called the monkey and the driver. That's how they do it. Why would they lean over the tire without a protector? Is that a good idea? No, absolutely not, but it, it makes the bike turn quicker, and that's the name of the game. Oh, uh, look at that. In second place, because you're looking on the inside. Look at that. In first place is that custom painted icon stout booty bike. Oh, the thing is so pretty. The closer you look, the prettier it is. It is. Look at, we're going outside. We're going inside. Oh, goes, uh, inside, outside. Getting so close to that concrete wall. Too wide for the lead. Oh, my goodness. Well, he's getting in. He goes wide and dives in on the apex. Look at those rims on that one. That gold one is awesome. I know. It's really pretty. I saw it up close yesterday, and it was really fun. He's like, you oh! want to ride right off? Little yeah. bumping and grinding on the on the signage. He just did a 5-0 grind on a sidecar. <laughs> what is going on down here? We got oh, half a lap to go. Here he goes. He's in there. He's leaning it over. And here come the checkers. Our winner. Matt Stout, our winner. The man that has put more time into the Booney Bikes than anyone else. If you're going to be tomorrow. Over there at Mama Tried, he's gonna have a booth out there if you're interested in getting one of these stout booties. Yes, he has the stout regular booties, and then he also has the sidecars. Can I get Come some noise? Check him out. Make a little bit of noise for our winners on that beautiful custom painted icon stout booty bike. He's giving back to the sport every day of the week, building booty bikes for Look at that kit. Track. Look how well he matches that motorcycle. That is, Absolutely. It's criminal how good he looks right now. He's so pretty. Unreal. Look at that wonderful. Custom everything from the helmet to the toes. Hey, Chatty Maddie, can you get an interview with our winner, please? We do. We're going to give him a second to take off his helmet and gloves here. Ladies and gentlemen, while his helmet is coming off, make some noise for Matt Stout and Katie! Winners of our sidecar race brought to you guys by Icon Motorsports. Matt, you got to come over here. I did a terrible job of explaining what this all was. Can you tell me a little bit? about the vision behind the sidecar with your booty bikes. Oh man, I'll tell you what, the first person to tell me to build sidecars was Scott Johnson. <laughs> so there he is, we owe it all to him. But man, what a race that was. I'll tell you what, Jason, Jason over here, he didn't make it easy on us. And my ride or die, Katie, man, she was just leaning left the whole time, keeping it together. We were working on this for a while. All right, Katie, I want, you, I want to come over here. Katie, I gotta hear ya. You, got, you were on the sidecar the entire time. Was the secret plan for you to be like pushing everybody out of the way while, while, so that you guys could get out to the front? What was your role in this as a sidecar besides hanging on and leaning? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, you rocked it. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Katie, the sidecar extraordinaire. Now, 
Katie, you seemed a little bit speechless there. You don't have anything else to say? So out of breath. All right, you're about to be really speechless. Chatty, hold this. With this ring, the rest of their lives, an amazing couple, an amazing creative individual, welded the majority of these booty bikes out here today, and then that beautiful custom painted icon, special sidecar from top to bottom. What a special flat out Friday this has been for everybody Absolutely. involved. Absolutely. That is something that'll live on in infamy. We got her a new jersey with the right last name on yep, it. Yep, got the stout name on it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to it. What an awesome group of people getting together to make this whole thing happen. Shout out Scott Johnson for giving the influence and that, of course. I guarantee the welds are still warm on those things, oh, man. Oh, yeah. He worked hard to get that many of them built in such a short time. Him and a couple other guys crank those things out day and night. They are sold out constantly. Yeah, it is awesome. Check what them out at the Mama Tribe Motorcycle Show at the Rave tomorrow and Sunday. Let's give them the real checkered flag. What do you guys think of this amazing new power couple? Woohoo! They're winning! Winning their life right now! What a feeling. Winning the side, the inaugural sidecar race. And then getting engaged in front of thousands of strangers. Yes! What a perfect decision. So glad she said yes. Yeah, that's exactly how you make that happen. That is awesome. I'm so glad this is forever kept on the YouTube. Again, if you're following us on social media, give us a like and subscribe. We're trying to build that YouTube channel. Whoa, you just crashed with your new bride. That is unreal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of the ups and the downs in sickness and in crash. It's better than like saying I crashed texting and driving. I was one handed saluting all of the people at the Pfizer <laughs> yeah. Forum. Yeah, that counts. After I popped the question, I ran into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great moment. That is something that'll live in Flat Out Friday infamy. We're going to steal that flag back. And then I believe our friend Chatty Manny, you found someone else to talk to. Uh, who do you got down there? Yeah, well, thank you so much, Mike. I do have Venetia Simpson here. We're talking about sliders, which is something that's coming up very shortly in our program. First off, can you explain to Pfizer Forum, what is sliders? Sliders is a youth-focused program uh, designed to teach young kids flat track racing in Milwaukee. Um, the program was created by Biker Fest, of course, and Cream City Moto and Mama Tribe's Flat Out Friday, and is sponsored by Bell Helmets. So how has Sliders, I know that you work very hard with these kids to make this dream happen for them. What is the inspiration behind Sliders? Well, the inspiration is just teaching kids and, and getting them out there um, putting them in a, in a situation where they learn new things and, and in this community. It's, it's been a cra uh, an incredible thing for them. I know that you're getting a little tear up here because you work really hard with sliders here. How can other people get involved with sliders and with you to help the community and the sliders, um, excuse me? Sure, um, you go to bikerfestmke.org, um, follow us on our socials, uh, that's bikerfestmke. And then how can viewers who are watching online right now find out more about you? Say that again. How can viewers find out more about you who are watching live on YouTube right now? Oh, bikerfestmke.org. Thank you very much. One more time, Milwaukee, for Venetia Simpson. Micah, Mark, back up to you. And the sliders are now racing. It is full-fledged racing out there. Like I said, a great program. Trying to, get, trying to get people racing that would never have the opportunity to do that. And I'm telling you, you can make somebody's live by just giving them a great Absolutely. new hobby. You see the smiles on their faces when you're coaching them and they are having a ball doing this stuff. Exactly, it's, it's awesome. I mean, that's what this thing's all about, is that is getting out there and getting on an e-bike, getting on a motorcycle, getting on a boonie bike, being part of these wonderful festivities. Because without the user, we are absolutely nothing and we need a next generation. Yeah, that's where we're getting them. We got them right here, right now. Put your hands together for the Slider Kids!
That was a decent race. That was pretty good. Battle for first the whole time. Yep. I wouldn't get out there. That's terrifying to me. You put one, <laughs> one left foot out there in the wrong spot. Boom, you're on your butt. I raced last year. That was it. Glory. Glory racing. We're yeah. done. Slider's still taking some circles. They got to cool down the engines, as you know. That's right. They're, yeah. Those electric engines need a whole bunch of air to get themselves cooled. No, no, they don't. He's got wonderful form. He's got his elbow up and his leg down, just like I told him. That's awesome. The next generation. Look how cool technology is that we can put, we can put things like this out there. All right, and with that, we're going to go back down to our friends down on the floor. Uh, Chatty Matty, what else do you have going down? Uh, our down halftime there? show is continuing just to get above and attend. Now we've got a fifth grader, Milwaukee. Make some noise for this kid. He can wheelie anything. Make some noise for baby D Blocks. <laughs> this kid is in fifth grade and he can wheelie anything. Milwaukee, get loud for baby D Blocks. Seat stand, Mark, just to yeah, get the party rolling. Stand. Yeah. One leg off. Look at that. Yeah, no, Holy cow. Doing the knack-knack side saddle out there. Yeah. What do you think, Milwaukee? Do you like what you see? Tell him. Tell him. Scream at him. Yeah. He, encourage him. Side saddle. Fifth grade, I was learning how to spell my name. Look at him wheeling that bike like it's nothing. That's powerful. Look, all the way to 12 o'clock. Yeah. There's not another degree left for that kid. That was cool. Oh, what now, now it's, what, wait, what a minute, wait, what? I don't know, Chatty, dude, what's going on down there? Do you have any idea? Up another notch here, guys. He's jumping on his other bike. Milwaukee, keep making some noise for baby D-Blocks. He's oh, gonna get on a ball. bigger bike and try to really this one. All Can right, he let's do see, it? baby D-Blocks, put your hands together. He's like a two-sport athlete. Is that yeah. what it would be? That's crazy, going from the torque of an e-bike, now jumping on something with a combustion engine and going way, way back off. Past. That is awesome. Yeah. Yo, he has that thing way up there. Look at him standing on the Look seat. Weighs as much as my left leg. That's and he's riding that bike like it's nobody's business. That's impressive to have control like that. At that young of an age. What kind of motorcycle is that? What's he, what's he sitting on? That looks like a 150 to me. Not sure, wait. Wait, what? Whoa. No. Chatty, what is happening? No. And the third bike he's going to be wheeling today is a Harley Sportster. This is the final bike. make some noise. This kid's about to wheelie a Harley Sportster. This is illegal. This makes me an accessory to a crime, Mark. Absolutely it does. This kid's not going to, how much does no. that thing weigh? He's not going to wheelie that, is he? Way more than me, and that's saying a lot. Does he have parental supervision? I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's his dad down there holding the wheel for him. Now, how important is doing a burnout before doing a wheelie on a Harley? Well, you need a little gripsion to flip that thing in the air. That's awesome. Milwaukee, do you want to see this kid put this thing on one wheel? Tell him. Scream at him. Make, it, make some noise for baby d -Block. I got to see this. Check out the progression. Look at that. Look at that. 
Dude, he's going pretty slow, which makes it even harder to get him kind of cranked up like that. Yeah, you got the balance thing, you got the weight thing going on. It's just incredible. I know full-blown adults that can't get a wheelie up that far. Oh, uh, you're looking at one. Wow. If I'm on one wheel, I'm probably headed to the hospital. That's true. <laughs> and now, for some more of our halftime entertainment, the crowd favorite. It's time for the children. Make some noise for the kids. The pedal bikes and the waddlers. Oh, look at the pits. The pit camera going on. Flat out Friday is for the children. Yeah, look at that one. Look, at the, look at the vigor in those eyes right there. All the vinegar. Yeah. Oh, holy cow. There's tons of them. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's like... It's like an avalanche of children. It's like an Easter egg hunt without any of the candy. Perfect. Right. Put them all out there. Look at the cute one with the helmet. Oh my goodness. Yo, call me. Oh, look at this. Call me. Was that guy on Tinder? I think uh, that's nuts. <laughs> we gotta have a talk with his parents. I'm yeah, sure of it. That's no bueno. Unbelievable. Evil Knievel's out there. That's the tiniest Knievel. Yeah, Fisher Price helmet. What up? Uh -huh. well, Imagine being on the floor right now. It just smells like exhaust and aggression and testosterone and all, yeah. all sorts of just craziness. And now we're and racing. Like, oh, I'm having fun. Yeah, we should race some bicycles. Kids race. I don't know the rules. It's not important. What we're going to see is a whole bunch of adorable doing circles on this track. Yep, we got a three-year-old from Starfire Racing out there, and they're off. Here we go. Come on, put your mix on for the kids. Tough as nails out there. Whoa! Oh, another one and another one! This is the best racing we've had all night, and the winner is the girl in the pink helmet that never started. Her yeah, life. woo! Your transponder puts you in first, hon. Congratulations. Training wheels, let's hear it for training yeah. wheels. Yeah! So, Dale, take mine off, it'll be great. Riding the whip, make some noise for the kids one more time. Let's encourage the next generation of fun. Oh, to be a kid again, Mark. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Long hair, don't care. Nothing. Cruising laps. No. Nope. Having all the fun. Yeah, no brakes on the bike. Look at the power wheelie. We got another little baby D blocks doing power wheelies down the front stretch. What a cool class. Evil Knievel with the Strider. Yep. Striders yeah. are great. Oh, he's got eye shields. What up, eye shields? <laughs> this is a cool class. Got the concentration oh, tongue sticking look at, out. Look at that one, making his make some noise over in turn three and turn four. Let's encourage him to the finish. Oh, man. Chatty Maddie, I know this is your favorite class. Did you find someone to talk to down there? I did. This is easily the best event here at Flat Out Friday. I do have Jacob from Anomaly Falls. Look at him on the Jumbotron Milwaukee. Make some noise for Jacob. What's it like with all of these people around here and you're racing and now your face is on the Jumbotron? What are you feeling? Uh, I feel good. <laughs> you feel good? Super chill? Yeah. Do you have anybody you want to thank? Uh, my mom and dad. Good job. Thank you guys. Make some noise one more time for Jacob out of Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. Good job. The children making it happen out there. Thank you so much, Flat Out Friday, for hanging out with us. We are going to take a quick commercial break. Be with you after this. Started at two, now, now, what it do? What it Better start them young, he inspired the youth. Hold it slide down the block. Really 12 o'clock, got you messing with the little homie, baby D block. Start a let you now, now what it do? What it better start him young, he inspired the youth. Hold it slide down the block. Really 12 o'clock, got you messing with the little homie, baby D block.
It's totally surreal to be at the end of the season already. It feels like it just started. Oh man, where do I start? I want to try not to cry. You know, it really like hit me coming into this weekend how much bigger this is than just us writers and the people in the tent. This year, the, the ladies, returning students as well as the new ones, are running, the pace is 20, 20 seconds faster a lap. It's a lot. Being on a team with 10 other women, a manager and mechanics, and um, it's a factory ride, man. I mean, it was the, it's the coolest thing. I, I dreamed of this all my life. The biggest takeaway from this program has been that women really can do anything and that even though we're on the track and we're racing against each other, that every single person on this team is here supporting each other and encouraging each other and cheering each other on. They're here to race, but this is more than just racing. You know, we're, we're here to, for them to achieve something very personal or, or push themselves maybe outside their comfort zone and in, in, in what they imagined they could do. It's been an absolutely fantastic season this year. Enemies on the, on the field and best of friends in the pits. And that was really, I mean, that really sums up BTR. GT650 proved to be an awesome base to excel on the track. Incredibly fortunate this year to have some incredible partners helping us out, some incredible sponsors. We hope that everybody's just enjoyed watching some amazing racing. Welcome back, everybody. We are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for the greatest motorcycle racing on the planet, Flat, Flat Out Friday, presented by Harley Davidson Motorcycles. We are getting into our finals portions of the evening. Nothing but single racing for all the money, trophy, and glories. And I want to teach you a little bit about our next group, and that is called the Build Class. Let's check out Build University. Next up, we have the build class. These bikes are built by high school students. Let's go build class! Mark, that was very direct. Thank you. That was perfect. I'm a very direct person. Someone sell told me that once or twice. That works. Well, we got the motorcycles started, which means we got to get them onto the course. Shout out to our drone friend. Let's get to the action. All right, Jack Keynes in the 35L. Green Strack, number five. Gordy Russell, 09. Scott Kapuski, 4X. Andrew Clark, number 52. Jason Warkey, number 30. Chris Mueller, 759. Gabriel Perez, number 61, and Glenn Langer, number 71. Andrew Pickett on the 414, Craig Schmidt on the 35X, Pat Hansen on the 959, Greg Avello on the 012, and Justine March on the 05. Your build class main, put your hands together for them. 
Now, was this track ever meant to have this many riders on it at one time? Absolutely not. We're just going to do it anyway? We're going to do it anyway. All these bikes were put together by high school kids. I like it. They learn how to work on, on bikes with mentors. Wow, we got some power wheeling right off the start. That's a good sign. The nine of Russell out front early. Don't cut out. Don't count out number 35L, Jack Keynes. He's one of the mentors for the build class. He goes wide. Number Whoa. 52, Clark tries to get underneath him. Oh, it looks like the track's way different than the first half. Absolutely, she's starting to get a little slippery. You can see the little tires on these bikes. Some of them are kind of skinny tires. What's faster, going wide out of the corner or just pointing that thing straight and pinning it? You want to point and shoot. This is a point and shoot track. Wow, we got Bam first place. We got a change of the lead. Jack Kane's on the 35L. It's Your a, new leader. It took him three, four laps to set him up, waiting for the bobble. Yep, you gotta sometimes you get in the lead by waiting for the mistake. Lots of passing going on on the track down there in the build class. Yep, Jack Kane's our leader, a veteran flat tracker and road racer. Whoa, we got some handlebar banging down there in second and third place. Yep, four wide, working through lap traffic also, always a factor at Flat Out Friday. Wow, solid circles. In our first main event of the evening, the build class going to the outside due to lap traffic, that's gonna open the door. Yep. White flag comes out, one more lap to get it done. Jack's got this one as long as he doesn't fall down. Your winner, 35L, Jack Haynes. Unreal. Mark, can you talk us through some of the uh, highlights from this race? We'll get him on the board in just a short minute. Make some noise for our winner, our first main event. Mark, take us through it. Well, you know, smoothness is key. And that's one thing when you're experienced like Jack Haynes, you see how he holds his line and just waits for the mistake to get the win. That was a great race. Lots of trading of first place. That's what we want to see out here at the Flat Out Friday. And I believe in just a few short moments, our voice on the floor, our friend Chatty Maddie is going to have an interview for the winner. Chatty, take it away when you're ready, friend. All right, Jack Keynes here taking off a little bit of helmet here. Milwaukee, make some noise for Jack Keynes. How does it feel to win the first main event of the night here in Milwaukee with this almost sold out crowd cheering you behind you? Feels really good. It's good to see a lot of people out here. Got a lot of friends and family and just uh, great everybody came out, especially to support the Charlotte race. Well, congratulations. Milwaukee, make some noise one more time for Jack Keynes. My man. Legends. Legends, legends taking some, some laps out there tonight. Oh correct? my gosh, yes. All right, well, we got a little, a little something special for our next race. We, gotta, we need to learn about it before we dive in. Like to see the video on our friends at BTR, please. All right, this is the Royal Enfield BTR class, or the Build Train Race class. These are all women racing 650 Royal Enfields. They built their motorcycles, they trained on these motorcycles, and they're here to race today in Milwaukee. I can't believe my ears what I heard. Chatty Matty, are you with the motorcycle building legend right now? Definitely, in one of our other interviews here tonight, Roland Sands is in the building here to house former racer, custom bike builder, and owner of Roland Sands Design. Can you talk about, I mean, look around you. This crowd is electrified. Tell me how it feels to be here at Flat Out Friday today. You know, I think we're here at the biggest indoor flat track race in the world. That's what's up. Yeah, make some noise for that, absolutely. Talk a little bit more about your history. You're a designer, you're a former racer. What brought you here to Flat Out Friday in the community? You know, my friends at Royal Danfield brought me out here. We've done quite a bit of racing stuff. We do some road racing. We started out uh, doing flat track racing with Flat Out Fridays here about, I want to say seven years ago, wow. with the Super Hooligan National Championship and Indian motorcycles and all that. So I got a chance to run around on this racetrack myself and find out how fun it was, but also how hard it was yeah. to go around this place fast. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wish I could ride one of these things. I wish. But talk about Build a Train Race in particular that's now about to hit the track. 
Royal Enfield's been such a creator of, I think, racing inspiration, and especially in the in for females, you know, they've done it with flat track racing, with uh, American flat track, and now they're doing it with Moto America, with road racing. I think they're on their third year this year, so it's been really cool to see the Royal Enfields not only get built, see the cool bikes that got built, both in flat track and road race, but to see women progress in the sport, and to see Royal Enfield give them a platform to do it. Yeah, and this whole weekend is gonna be a party for Royal Enfield. Where can we find you the rest of the weekend? I'll be hanging out here with all you guys tonight, get my party on, watching flat track racing. Um, and then the rest of the weekend I'll be, well, tomorrow I'll be at Mama Tried, and I built a chopper with Royal Enfield, which was just kind of a weird thing to do initially, but we built this wild little chopper out of a 650 Royal Enfield twin. It's here at the show. Come by, say hi, and I think tomorrow I'll be bartending for an hour at the show. So come by, I'll make you an old fashioned, and say what's up, be nice to meet everybody. Oh, very nice. Milwaukee, make some noise one more time for Roland Sands. Back up to you guys. That guy's cool. He built the distance record motorcycle for Pastrana back in the day. Actually, yeah. oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, Roland Sands gets it done. But it's time to concentrate on what's important, and that's the BTR class, all females. This is going to be awesome. Yep. Alex McDonald, the 800 of Anna Banana Serena from Miami, Florida, the 182 of Justine Marsh, Right here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Mia Reese from Woodstock, Illinois. These women put these bikes together with the help of mentors and many other sponsors, but they had to do all the work themselves. That's awesome. I remember Anna Banana being out here to quite a few flat out rides. This is not her first rodeo, as oh, they say. Oh, absolutely. She has now raced all over the world because of this opportunity. And they're off. I love it. And we got lots of fast starts to get the BTR class rolling. That's right. Justine Marsh jumps out front and running down in third. Man, that's got to be so nerve wracking. Hit the brakes, hit the gas, just instantly, instantly, instantly. Yes, it's, oh, it's like, yeah, over and over, you have to pin it and then stab the brake. Pin it and then stab the brake. And they haven't had warm up, they haven't had their, you know, preliminary heats for at least six to eight hours now. It's got to be a completely different feel. Oh, the track is changing massively right now. The moisture in the air is starting to settle on the concrete. The rubber is getting laid down really differently. And by the time we get to the end races, it'll be all different all over again. 10 laps here in this BTR main. We are going to crown us a winner and then try to get more females involved. Please talk to Roland Sands, see what it takes to get in this if it's something that interests you. It, it, motorcycles do, do not care what you look like. They do not care what you're about. They just Absolutely want you to ride them. Not. That's what this is about, getting out there Learning motorcycles, it's an absolutely wonderful skill to have. It'll translate into so many more aspects of your life. Like we said, we encourage the female vibe all day long. We love seeing them out here racing. Yep. Look at Alex going around Justine Marsh. And a banana going right behind him. Yep. They all support each other off the track, and they're all racing against each other on the track. It's a kind of solidarity you don't find everywhere every day. Yeah, that's what it's about, man. Females definitely supporting females and stuff. We got our first winner. Oh, and look who's waving the flags, Roland Sand. Oh, that's so cool. He's gonna be bartending tomorrow. See if you can stump him with a drink. Yeah, that's, you, that man has a wealth of knowledge. I actually went to his motorcycle show over in California a couple years ago. That man eat, breathes, sleeps motorcycles. Awesome Absolutely. to see him sharing him wealth with such an awesome creative community. And a mixologist. Exactly. We're gonna see the skills. Roland, do you know what an old fashioned is? <laughs> you go you gonna learn, son. Yeah, right. You're gonna learn. We got some highlights on the board of the ladies absolutely crushing it out there. The Pfizer Forum floor. That is wonderful to see. Oh, now, look at the beautiful people. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, everybody, over on YouTube. Please do like, share, subscribe, all the stuff you're sick of hearing people talk about. We need to build that channel and do more cool events like this. Chatty Betty, I believe you have our winner. Is that correct? Yeah, we are here with tonight's feature winner, Alex McDonald. Milwaukee you make some noise all the way from Murfreesboro, Tennessee here. The drive is long, but this has got to be worth it, parking it here tonight. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> Talk about how really careful you have to be when you are that close on a starting line. You've got to get a good jump, and you've got to get out there and kind of stay out there. What are you thinking about on that starting line? Nothing. It might be nothing, right? Nothing. <laughs> how does it feel to win here tonight at Flat Friday? Hell yeah. I've been here. This is my
my fifth year racing Flat Out Friday and finally taking the W. I'm so excited. Congratulations. One more time, Milwaukee for Alex McDonald. Micah, Mark, take us to another video. She was stoked. That was an absolutely stoked winner. We're pumped to do yep. it. She was happy. To get on to our next class, we have to learn about our next class. Let's watch the video on Masters, Masters. University. Welcome to Flat Out Friday University. This is the Masters class. You must be 60 years or older and you can ride any bike you want. Mark, how come you always get the smallest videos? Why do you get the shortest ones? <laughs> do they not believe in your skills it's in front of the painful, camera? It's painful, because it's painful. <laughs> What do you think of this class? I love this class. 60 plus started right here in Wisconsin in District 16. And then it spread all over the nation. I believe your boss was a big part of this for quite a while, Absolutely, correct? 85 years young, Chuck Dickerson. Oh, that is awesome. He's out here tonight racing? Are you serious? You betcha, why wouldn't he be? That man might have been around when Hubertus was settled. That is insane. Yep. No way. Yeah, 85. 85 years young. We got a motorcycle exploding on the line. That's always a nice touch, right? Yep, we got Dan Jacobson, Ted Freeman, James Delisle, Thomas Pratt, Julia Wonder Woman Hansen, Ron Meek, Glenn Schur, and Chuck Dickerson, and Lee Feely. Excuse me, sir, your motorcycle is puking fluid all oh, over the starting no. line. Hey, it happens. Welcome to racing, right? Yep. Nothing you so, can really do about it. So Julia Hansen is actually Chuck Dickerson's daughter. And racing in the same and class. racing in 60 plus. <laughs> Would you say racing is a family affair? Absolutely. You can be five years old and race, and you can be 60 plus and race. I like that it's any motorcycle you're willing to throw a leg over. Well, that yeah, way. I mean, if you're 60 years old, they, they, all the help you can get, right? Why wouldn't you, right? Right. Absolutely, why wouldn't you? Well, we're going to get that cleaned up on the track. Till then, we're going to fly a drone around and get cool angles. Look at that start finish line. That is some beautiful individuals. I love the method of how they get this track. Again, everybody watching online, we appreciate you so much for watching the live feed. It is our first time ever putting the live feed 100% as we're doing the racing. Normally, normally, we let it out later. But please do us a favor, like, hit that like button, hit subscribe. It's very, very important. We want to get this happening. Mark, let's go back there racing. All right. And they're getting ready to start. They've got to make, make sure there's no oil on that track. Oil on rubber, kind of slippery. I mean, what can you really do about it? I mean, how much will those rags actually scrape up? Well, they, they, they'll spray brake clean on it also, and that'll, that'll soak up a lot of the oil and the gasoline. Oh, it sounds like a nightmare. So just at any time, you can get flipped back onto your head. Absolutely. Oh, fun. And it makes a raw spot on the concrete, so it's like another thing. Well, here we go. We're going and racing. Off. Masters class, ahoy. Dan Jacobson jumps out in front. Holy cow, they're going fast out there. Oh yeah, they're not slow. 60. Old does, old does not equal slow. Not at all. They're grouping together really well. We got the battles in third place. Yep, battle for third. Feely, number 48, is actually on a Harley Sportster. No way. Yep. This class oh. is 60 no. plus, he races a Sportster. They're going fast out there. They're doing good eight, nine second laps, Mark. Yep, they're keeping it going. Drone getting all the great footage. 69F trying to catch our leader, Jacobson, number 39. He's coming into lap traffic where there's two riders. Oh, oh Feely goes down. We got him hemmed down. Right in the race line, and they're going to give him a red flag. They do. Our first red flag of the whole evening. Feely on his hands and knees. That was crazy. That was our race leader at the time. Coming into lap traffic, bad things happen behind him. Seat popped off the bike. They pick it up for him. Let's see if he can get back in the action. Oh, it's important. Oh, there's a lot of things sideways on that motorcycle oh, bike. Handlebars are snapped clean off. Unreal. Yeah, if we could see that again, I'd love to walk us through it. Mark, what's going on here? Oh, he got into the back of that bike. That's what happens. Oh, we almost had another and he crash. he almost got into another guy. I mean, do you just stay to your lane? or how, you, We don't have any sort of lap traffic flag out there. Well, the, are trick they is, to know? the trick is that when you're turning left and you get into someone's back wheel, you turn left harder. But the, your instinct is to turn right. I've done it. Everyone's done it at least once. 
Hey, you learn the hard way. You don't forget it. No, he look, we got the thumbs up. We That's got the very, thumbs very up. important. He's okay and he's all right. See? Boom. Wow. Yeah, that's 400 pounds of motorcycle going in the wrong direction. That was shot. And your boss just driving like it's another Sunday afternoon. I oh, absolutely. It. Do not mess with that man on two wheels. <laughs> 85 turns into 16 real quick. Holy cow. How to stay young, right? Oh, absolutely. Flat out front. Now, you said it started here and then it kind of blew up, blossomed at other tracks around the country? Yeah, 60 plus literally started in District 16, AMA District 16, Wisconsin District. All these guys showed up, they said, we don't want to be scored, we don't want trophies, we just want to race each other. And then it got approved to be nationwide at an AMA, uh, AMA meeting in November. Holy cow, that's pretty cool. True story, and Chuck was a big, big part of it, trying to get his bike there, started there. Chuck Dickerson, number... 26. And let's be honest, he's had a couple of falls out here and he gets right back up every oh, single yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. I just cannot get enough of this stuff. He left in an ambulance here a couple of times. <laughs> and he's right back and his daughter encourages this behavior. He works every day at least eight hours. Wow. Calls me, he calls me up, he's my boss. There he goes for the restart. Put your hands together for Evil Knievel, Chuck Dickerson, 85 years young. He might have known Evil Knievel. That's a good possibility. When Evil Knievel was in fifth grade, yeah. Yeah. They could have went to elementary school together. Yep, they're going to take a, a sighting lap to keep the bikes cool. You got these water cool bikes, you got to keep them moving. Number 39, Dan Jacobson, he's, been a, he's promoted a couple races of his own. Wow. These guys got stories for days. Your whole, your boss's suit is held together by duct tape. Is that a normal sort That's of thing? That's an absolutely normal thing. <laughs> oh man, we're like the Mighty Ducks out here yeah, before they is, got sponsored. Yeah, oh, for a hundred percent. Look at that. Yep. What a man, that is a man's man right there. Tell him to write a book. Yeah, try to call in sick to Chuck. Good luck with that. You're not coming into work today? Why? <laughs> Look, at, he doesn't want to start at the back of the pack. He wants to be at least mid-pack. One day he was sick. I said, you going to the doctor? He goes, why? He's just going to tell me I'm sick. I got stuff to do. Yeah. Oh, they pulled him off. Oh, He's boy. He's got a leaker. There'll be a strongly worded email or handwritten letter coming our handwritten way. Handwritten letter. Any day yeah. now, correct? Yeah, with letters cut out of a magazine so no one knows who sent it. <laughs> Oh man, this master's class is keeping us all entertained today. Yeah, we're on our toes with this one. Yeah. Look at all the stuff on the ground. You can see it. It is just absolutely caked on there. Look at those beautiful leathers. Oh yeah, see, now there's an up close. Look at the rubber on the track. See the rubber on the track? Now see where they're rubbing? There's no rubber there. So when you ride over that, that's gonna feel different. That's gonna feel weird. You're gonna squirm around like you're running over gummy bears, and it's not gonna feel good. No, not it'll at all. It'll make your bike all twitchy and weird, and you'll be like, what's going on? And then it'll be too late. The moment will be passed, you'll be on to the next turn already. Well, while there's tons of people out there, I wanna remind you, Ribbit is deeply involved in getting more people on two wheels. Ribbit will sponsor your basic rider training course and Anthem Reservation placed between January 22nd and March 30th, 2024. Simply provide proof of completion at the time of Anthem payment, and you'll receive a $250 credit towards your Anthem purchase. BRT course fees may apply from state to state. Check your local laws and DMV. Rivet is a proud sponsor of Mama Tribe Flat Out Friday and the One Motorcycle Show. We'll be revealing their latest model, making a splash, and offering demos at the One Show, April 19th through the 21st, 2024 in Portland, Oregon. We'd love to see every single one of you there for that amazing race. What up, people? Welcome to the big screen. Hey, How Dad! You? You're famous! How you doing? Oh, look at that one's waving! Yeah! yeah. Welcome to the party. We're pumped to have you. Oh, your mom rides faster. She is pretty quick. I'll yeah, my it. mom's fast. Yes. My mom and her Subaru just flying down the Woo! road. Welcome, everybody. Flat Out Friday, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We wish you were here. 
Shout out to everybody that is here. It is the place to be, especially Josh. In all of North America, shout out Josh, whoever <laughs> Josh is. Thanks for being there. Uh, Mark, you having fun this evening? I'm having a blast. I love this race. It is so much fun. Yeah, one for the memory books for yeah. sure. Oh, there, yeah, five to 105. There is no other event in the world like Flat Out Friday. Nope, it's a, it's a beast onto itself. Oh, man, the master's class getting themselves situated. And that's what we're kind of waiting for, is them to spread more of that gas. All yeah, over we the love place. the oil. Oh man, what a terrible placing for that. Again, that's what it's for. That is the slipperiest concrete on the history of the world. And we gotta figure out a way to keep it going. I believe our friend Chatty Maddie's found someone to chit chat with. Chatty, take it away. Not anybody to chit chat with here, but I do have a ton of people watching live at home who can't be here. Want to give a huge shout out to Gracie Cleveland and family watching at home live from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Full Throttle Inc. watching live from Wisconsin as well. Tim Gordon with helmet painting, best helmet painter here that I know. And then everybody here watching at home from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Happy to have you here watching on YouTube. And if you aren't, make sure you go like and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks. That's good advice. I love liking and subscribing on YouTube. Chatty Maddie giving the shouts out. Well, take YouTube's the best. It is. It's pretty fun, to say the least. You can go down some rabbit holes pretty quick, Mark. I don't. Oh want to my gosh, here. yeah. But holy cow, love seeing it. And I did notice that they uploaded last year's about 30 days ago. So if you want to see what happened in the 2023 race, that is available on our YouTube page. Check out Flat Out Friday. But again, everybody that is here and live in person, want to remind you, tomorrow and Sunday, we will be over at the Eagles Ballroom doing it for Mama Trot Motorcycle Show. One of the coolest events to ever take place in that building. And that is one of the most historic buildings in all of Milwaukee. Uh, how they get motorcycles up that level where there's absolutely no sort of elevator is, is crazy to me. Oh, there's a tiny freight elevator that fits one motorcycle at a time. Yeah. And the choppers get carried up the steps. Exactly. They should do a filming on that. Speaking of filming, we got to pay some bills. We're going to throw it to our ad break. We'll be with you right after this. Jeremy Prock. I'm with Mama Tried and Flat Out Friday in Milwaukee. Wow, what a good looking crowd. You look great. Thank you so much for coming out to this event. If you'd like to be in the know, please subscribe to our podcast, our Mama Tried Flat Out Friday podcast. Pull out your phones and scan this thing. Masters class is lined up. We're ready to get this thing started. We have the floor as good as it's going to get. It can be very exciting. We're going to know in the first lap how well of a job the track guys did. Absolutely. They're using the staggered start, and they're off. Wow. From the back to about fourth place, that was a great start back there. Yep, two wide. Jacobson's your leader. 
carbon copy of the first time they started. Here they go again. Just a few laps left here in the Masters class, 60 and over. Four laps to go. 69 going to try to catch the, the leader, Jacobson. I would love to know lap times. They're going fast out there. Absolutely. Just because you're old doesn't mean you're slow. No, not at all. And fast is smooth. Is that correct? I noticed the guys that are keeping it nice and kind of fluent through every corner well, are the guys going to, up front. You're trying to pirouette around that turn with the brake and the throttle at the same time. It's a mixed dance of stick and move. And Whoa! Throttle. Oh, a little bumping and banging in second. There we go. The win, the race winner. And he's pumped. Flat yeah, out is the me memory you will never forget. Let's check out some of the highlights from our master's class. And oh boy, were there some highlights. Yes, there were. Cranking out the side. Perfect form. Riding yep. the Bronco a little bit to take in double checkered flags. Pretty good master's class, memorable to say the least. Remember, those guys are six, 60 plus years old. You're okay. never too young to start racing, you're never too old to start racing. I can't wait to hear what this man has to say, as you can tell. He's a, he's stoked. We got Chatty Matty trying to figure out how to use a microphone. We'll get her, we'll get it to her in half a second. That's a fun it. microphone. Take I it away, Chad. I got it. Dan Jacobson and I have been talking about this all week. Yesterday at the Harley Davidson Museum, we were messaging about this earlier. When he takes his helmet off, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. We're getting it. Hold on. You got it. There we go, Mark. He makes some noise. He's been wanting this all week. Wow. We've been talking about this all week, Dan. <laughs> Talk. I, I, got, I owe you a, a victory lap, but it's not for here. Yeah, yeah I, I got you, I got you. But man, you had a hold out on this. You had that red flag, you know, uh, uh, gratefully everything and everybody was okay. But now you started overheating too. Uh, you know, this has been a fabulous uh, event and, and a career. You know, I've loved racing since 1969. So I've been around the block for a while. This, this one's for the wise guys, right? Woo! Make some noise one more time for Dan Rummy. Imagine being able to say I've been racing motorcycles since we first landed on the moon. Right? That's, Absolutely. That is a real life statement that man can say. And I wasn't ready, for, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting that face and head to come out of that helmet. No, absolutely, you? Yeah. look at that young man. Yeah, He's I, got more time putting a kickstand down than most of you got riding a bike. <laughs> That's an excellent way to put it. Well, we're going to go right back to the floor with our friend Chatty Maddie. Chatty, take it away. One of our other interviews here tonight at Flat Out Friday. I have Dan Bromley with me here. You are a rider from Memphis Jays, but we have a busy upcoming season with you with the AA class. Can you talk briefly about that with me? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. You know, uh, Memphis Shades is a sponsor, that I, I believe, of this event and uh, for me for the past four years. So it's, it's cool to be able to come here and represent them. Uh, I had the opportunity to win this event in 2022 and 2023. So uh, this year would be a three-peat, which would be pretty cool. But it's definitely going to be hard. We, we have a lot of fast riders. And uh, it's going to be a crazy 35 laps. So I'm, I'm excited for it. We've been training all winter. We've been training for this upcoming season. We have, we have some pretty cool big, um, big news to come. Uh, I can't really share them. But uh, my bike I'm riding right now kind of kind of shows the brand I'll be on. And uh, a lot of the great people behind me are, uh, are supporting me. And uh, I'm excited for it. I want to talk a little bit more about Memphis Shades. Talk about how important it is to have great supporters like them. Oh, yeah, it's definitely amazing because they not only support me, but they support the sport. They're supporting this event. They have uh, the ability to sell parts that all the fans here with Harleys and everything can use. And it, it's really cool to be able to uh, represent a brand that uh, is also with Harley and this event and uh, to be able to publicly show that uh, they truly believe in this sport and in motorcycles. Well, good luck tonight from the AA class. Milwaukee, make some noise one more time for Dan Bromley. Back up to Micah and Mark. Thank you, Chatty. We appreciate it. We want to learn a little bit about our next class, the 50cc main event. But first, we got to go to 50cc University. This is the 50cc class. The riders in this class are four to eight years old. The motorcycles are a 54 stroke or shaft driven. Come on, kids, bring it.
If you thought the pedal bicycle race in between halftime was adorable, wait till you see these future shredders get out oh, of the course. You betcha. This is where it all starts. 50cc bikes. Look at them. It's like the ultimate show and tell option. Like, well, what did you do for your weekend? I raced where the Bucks won the world championship. Yeah. What a cool, cool yeah, thing they do. Yeah, absolutely cool. Look at it. And look at them. They're all out there. They're ready. Elbows up, heads down, ready to race. They're a colorful bunch, would you admit? Oh, yeah. You know it. Mom and Dad are proud right now. Yep. Put your hands together for the 50cc riders. And they're off and running. And we've got a battle. We, look at the top four all in a blanket. Yep. That is a crazy amount of race. And they're going hard there. Who's our leader? Let's take a look at that. Smiley, number 39, our leader. And just flying by people going way far on the outside. Yep. Now, 50 cc's, these are clearly the first motorcycle you ever get, but the fact they don't have training wheels or anything is just awesome. Well, they, maybe a couple weeks ago, some of them did have training wheels. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, they're going around that track, making it happen. It is fun to watch them race. Look how little the wheels are. I mean, you can see some of the bikes are hand-me-down. Some of these bikes are clearly some sort of modified. And how crazy can you go on 50 cc motorcycles? Um, I'm not allowed to say under a penalty of death. It gets real out there. It yeah? does get real. Holy cow. I've seen tear down. Whoa! Oh no! We got one down. Is he all right? That was a, quite a shot. Pick it up, son. Let's go. And we got stuff coming out of that gas tank, but hey, that's a heck. Can we get some noise for that young gentleman getting him off Put the ground? Put your hands together. He's okay. He's up and okay. He just took a shot. He's not worried. He's like, let me go. Let me go. Let it's, me go. It's cool. They're young. Their bones have more marrow, meaning they heal faster. Yep, they're made and, out of rubber. Yeah, they bounce back quicker. You know, he won't feel that for another two, three weeks. It'll just be another, you know, life day in the life. Yep. Holy cow. Only three laps left to go here We're in our Smiley. Two to go, number 39, Smiley, Oles, and Manola. 39, 85, and 66 are your top three. The white flag is out. Can I get some noise for these kids out there? Come on, Milwaukee. Making it happen for you. We got one to go. The checkered flag is out. Congratulations to our 50cc winner. Everybody's a winner. Smiley, they're all winners. Everybody's a winner out there, Mark. That was a, like, even the kids have figured it out. If you get a good start, that is the, the best formula you can have. Uh, short track, whole shots, win races. That's what they're told from five years old on. You get the whole shot, kid, and you're going to win. Yeah, and absolutely making that happen is our 50cc class. That's cool. That was a stacked class, too. There was looked like it was full to the top yeah, as well. It wasn't, yeah, we had 13 riders. How many kids right now are saying, Mom, Dad, I want to do that next year? Oh, you betcha. All of them. Tons. We thought, you know, you thought you were going for a race, now you got a new hobby. We're going to go down to the track yeah. with our race winner is the one, the only, Chatty Maddie. Milwaukee, make some noise for Styles Smiley! The one thing I noticed about how you were racing is that you kept your elbow up the entire time. Who gave you that advice? My mom and dad. Your mom and dad? Well, that definitely got you the win here tonight at Pfizer. Look at all this crowd. Make some noise one more time. Milwaukee, Styles, do you got anybody else to thank tonight? My aunt and uncle. Congratulations. One more time, Milwaukee, for Styles Smiley. We're going to hear a little bit from some, for some of our viewers. We're going to go catch a break.
Kyle, what up? Where are you at? Traffic's insane. Well, the bikes are ready, so you better hurry up. Copy that, big dog. What's up, dude? Yo, you just hanging out in the dark or what? Gentlemen. So, you guys ready? Let's go. Pfizer Forum and fans watching on YouTube, if you've enjoyed listening to all the music that we're playing, you can listen to it yourself anywhere you have music. It is from local Wisconsin bands. I'm going to have a flag here right there. There are special ways to view on Spotify, and you can go like it on there and listen to all of our local Milwaukee artists. Micah, back up to you. Thank you so much, Chatty Maddie. Farrington's Highway might be my absolute favorite I think they're top 10 on Spotify right now. That was the greatest national anthem I think I've ever heard. Yeah. One of the best ever. I like it. It works for me. We got some more racing. We got to learn about our next class, and that is our Open Women. But first, let's go to Open Women University. Welcome to Flat Out Friday University. We have the women's class. You have to be 12 years old to ride a 250 and 14 years old to ride a 450. Let's go! You didn't say anything about having a driver's license, Mark. No, I did not. You don't need a driver's license to race a motorcycle. That's part of the fun. How many people would you say that race tonight? What percentage actually has a motorcycle license? Uh, taken away or they had one and <laughs> got taken away or they had one and they got to get one. That is a great, that's an absolutely great question. Yeah, it was. We got open women out there like you saw our friend Mark say at the university video, 250s and 450s. It is a hodgepodge of horsepower, but like you said, Mark, it doesn't matter how fast you can go. It matters who can get that power to the wheels and, and keep yep. that circle distance. We got two strokes, four strokes, trail bikes, and a couple of, I think there's a Harley out there too. Yeah, we got it, we're started. There they go. Wow, look at that technique. Yep. Laying it way oh, down. She, she puts it sideways on the power. That is crazy. Look at that back end barely keeping traction. Whoa. Oh, almost loses it. A little too stoked for conditions. Still, how do you not? How do you not? Right? You got to stay smooth and consistent. I mean, I bet there's some fast laps being timed right there. Oh, yeah. You don't want to throw it away, but you don't want to be slow either. It's a really delicate balance. Wow. Now coming into lap traffic, which could mean anything and anything will happen. Oh, absolutely. She's got to go around two slower riders. Wow. And those two slower riders are making her take the long way home. Yep. Whoa. You you gotta pick your moment. You're not gonna believe this, but behind those black banners are just concrete jersey barriers. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, those those taste great. Let me tell you, I know from experience. Absolutely flirting with disaster is what's going on here. Gonna grip it and rip it. She's going around on the inside. Nice looking technique. Couple of laps to go. Number 54, Clink, our leader. Walsdorf on Ice Princess on in second. And 17, Strasbourg, third. How much does, whoa, we got one into the concrete. How much does ice racing help? Not at all. Nothing? No. <laughs> whoa. That was commitment. 
I would love to see what her, let make some noise for our winner of Open. Women's Open, putting on a 54. clinic. Would have beaten 90% of the men out there. That was some fast laps to say the least. Are you impressed? All right, here we go, watch the replay. Whoa, little wild on the throttle. I mean, that's as close to the edge as you can ride. Is that where you wanna be? That's exactly where you wanna be. Unreal, and the stoke is absolutely authentic. It's all there. I mean, you win a whole bunch of, of bragging points. Obviously, we have one more of these happening in Portland, Oregon this year, but this is the, this is this is the to, big one. Yeah, this man. This is the big one. All the history and everything that goes with it. With our winner on the floor is our friend Chatty Maddie. Take it away. Well, make some noise one more time, Milwaukee, for Addison Clint. One of the most interesting things about racing Flat Out Friday is our track, but also how fast you come up on lap traffic. I, but I think that's kind of what sealed your deal here tonight with winning at Flat Out. You kept your head level and you got through it. I think that was one of the most important parts tonight. Oh yes, it definitely was hard to get through traffic, especially with such a small track, but I honestly loved it. Well, congratulations. One more time, everybody, for Addison Clay. Micah, Mark, back up to you. I, that race will be on my top five of tonight's festivities. Well, yeah, it was fun to see her going for it and almost lose it, throw it away, and then save it again. That was exciting for everybody. You didn't have to be on a motorcycle to feel that kind of excitement no, you to feel, feel that you, edge. You know they're on the edge. They're just right there, and they're right there, and it's, it's so important to keep it reined in. <laughs> it, I didn't see anything reining in. Oh, other than there. A Believe me, there's a, just a... a of control. <laughs> I like how you absolutely nailed it. We're going to go back down to the floor with our friend Chatty Manny. Chatty, take it away. We do have one of Harley Davidson's royalty here in the house tonight. Milwaukee, make some noise for Brad Richards, Vice President of Design. You've got some awesome stuff coming out here from Harley Davidson. What should fans watching online and watching here tonight at Pfizer be looking forward to from Harley Davidson? Well, all the 24 models. We spent a long time redefining the touring motorcycle, the street glide and the road glide. We've been, uh, God, it's been years in the making. I won't say how many, but, um, you know, 55 years maybe. And uh, yeah, we're super excited about the bikes, kind of re reinvented everything, lost weight faster, looks better. I'm heavily biased there, but yeah, we just want everyone to get out and enjoy touring on a Harley Davidson. And Brad, you've been a part of Mama Tried and Flat Out Friday for a long time now. You said almost 10 years now in the making. We're here in 2024, the crowd is electric and so is this program. How do you feel about being here tonight at Pfizer? I love supporting Scott, Jeremy, and Warren. There's so much soul between those three guys and all of you, you do such a great job. No one parties like Milwaukee in the winter and you know, right? God. So yeah, so this is uh, this is just we're an honor to be part of the part of the, the party, and we're it, ten years, and uh, I think we've been a presenting sponsor for ten years now, and uh, we couldn't be happier to be a part of it. We are very proud to have Harley Davidson as a presenting sponsor for Flat Out Friday. Milwaukee, make some noise for Harley Davidson's finest, Brad Richards. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank everybody for coming. He's right, nobody parties like Milwaukee in the winter. No, nailed it. Absolutely, he totally nailed that one. Yeah, 100%. We gotta get to our next racing, which is JV Hooligan. What is JV Hooligan? Well, let's check out JV Hooligan University. Yep, we're gonna learn something. Wow, what a good looking Pfizer. Thanks for coming to Milwaukee. Up next, we have the JV Hooligan. We have two Hooligan classes. We have the JV and then the premier Hooligan class. But all of the Hooligan riders must be 18 years or older. The motors must be a twin 750. The motorcycle must be a 1986 or newer and street legal. And none of the Hooligan riders can have been a pro within the last 24 months. Let's do this. The class that catches a lot of attention yep. is the JV Hooligan. There's a lot of fast names on there. Oh yeah, Cole Feely, Dwayne Ferguson. Cole Feely, 48, he's in the master's class also. Number 48. 
Daniel Swalski, Andrew Clark, a real big supporter of the local flat track scene. Yep, my buddy Don, he had fast laps down there from Wapaka, Wisconsin. Yep. A little bit of the Northwoods representing. It doesn't matter where you're from, there's a man in a Daniel Boone jacket. That guy's from Iowa. Some good, good people out there on the floor. Yep, you gotta love it. These are the guys that are racing every weekend, making it fun for everybody else. It don't happen unless you got JV and Premier. <laughs> Visorless helmet and ski goggles. Here we go, JV Hooligan. Ah. We got three wide in the first corner. First corner. Not ready to give up that outside lane. Gets pushed really far. Oh, oh Daniel Boone jacket goes down. 70X, Mitchell, your, your leader. Wow, having to go through all sorts of traffic. Gets it back up. Mitchell, 70X, used to race motocross. Now he races flat track and ice. He has a lot of fun on that XG750. Wow, we got passes going every which way. What a class. JV Hooligan gets a lot of people into the bigger bikes. This is yep. where you start. You go for booty bike, get one of these bikes, then the world is your oyster. And as you can see, it's Absolutely. a very eccentric class. They race all over the place. What kind of bikes do we have out there? A lot of sportsters. You have some. You might have a couple others out there. I'm not sure, but it looks like mostly sportsters. That's pretty cool. You can get one of these off Facebook Marketplace. It only takes a little bit of tinkering, and more than anything, you're taking parts off of it more than you're putting parts oh, on it. Oh, 100% you're trying to get that thing to lose. Whoa! Power. Another human being on the ground. That concrete is not forgiving. Number 883 on the ground. Went from fourth to last real quick. Battle for the lead is happening. Ferguson, oh, Mishla went back. One spot, he's in second now. Well, three wide, Ferguson, your new leader. And our double checkered flag is out. Can I get a little bit of noise for JB Hooligan? It looks like a slip and slide out there for the majority of that race. Yeah, well, those big bikes, they put out a lot of torque. They'll spin that back wheel real quick. I mean, these are the bikes we see written all over downtown Milwaukee. I mean, these are yeah. not much different than, you know, what you can buy, all you're doing is taking off lights, taking off front brakes. Putting 19s on and maybe an exhaust, maybe a little kit. Let's talk about it. There's our first crash oh, with that yeah. drone clip. Unreal sightings. You gotta be real careful with the throttle. You're on a 400 pound bike on concrete. You can slip and slide right out from under you. Man, that was a fun class. That's what we came to see here at Flat Out Friday. Absolutely. Look at the beautiful people on the camera right now. Yep. That man was giving out ice cold hot dogs over at Elwood's not too long ago. Yeah, I love hot dogs. You got to eat them. We're going to go down to the floor to our friend Chatty Maddie with the winner. Chatty, take it away. He's already partying in Milwaukee. Make some noise for Dwayne Ferguson. Woo! You seem pretty excited about that. You had one lap to do it or lose it. And congratulations, you got it. Walk me through what you were thinking that last lap that, man, you got to lock this in. I knew lap traffic would uh, come into play. I had to play it smart. Uh, this is a revenge tour. I came up here last year, had a mechanical issue with this, Tr crashed my truck coming up here. I almost made the A-Main in open amateur last year and this year. I finally made an A-Main in four attempts and I won the first time. Well, congratulations, Milwaukee. Make some noise one more time. I gotta thank my dad for putting up with me, racing on weekends. I gotta thank Robert Pratt, Jason Fox, all the Minnesota guys that always encouraged me. This was gonna get sold after tonight. It isn't now. And I gotta thank Jeremy. It, it was him helping me the first ever flat track race three years ago. Well, congratulations. One more time, you're JP Hooligan, feature event winner, Dwayne Ferguson. Mark, that was the interview of the night. Yeah, absolutely. The stoke was there. I crashed my motor, I crashed my car, my dog died, my wife left me. I was going to have to sell this. That dude's a country song. Yeah, right? And then he won at the very end. And he played it all backwards and got it back. Holy cow. And now the class of the night. 
Every single one of these riders possibly had a parole officer at one point in their oh, life. absolutely, 100%. It's time for the Booty Bike JV Main, as you can see. Just a hodgepodge of homemade booty bikes getting put out there. Shout out to all of our friends at Icon for sponsoring this class, making it look so cool. But again, if you got time tomorrow when you're over at Mama Try, check out our friend Matt Stout, who got married or in, what, in, what is it called? Engaged. Engaged, that's it. Getting engaged at halftime, yeah. making memories here at the 10th annual Flat Out Friday. But now, I love this class. There's somebody in a sombrero out there. Yeah. We got ladies out there. We got fat tires, small tires. We Super serious, not serious. Everything. Yep. I love it. We have bikes all the way from $100 to thousands of dollars. Yep. And all points in between. And here we go, 10 laps of mayhem. It starts right now. Right now, three wide, four wide, one guy goes super wide. Sombrero in third place, that's what I like to see with an attack. And we got someone down at turn number four. Oh, no! Yeah, he, he got it running, he get it running? Running it Yo. and literally pushing it with his feet like Fred Flintstone yeah, and pulling the car. Number 14, your leader, Rodriguez. Yeah, he's fast. He was out all weekend. Yep. You can catch these guys at the pre-parties, working their way up through here. But reeling them in at second place. There's a possibility here with lap traffic. Yeah, well, it's always a lap track. It's always a flat, flat out Friday factor. Yep, orange hooded sweatshirt is in first place, but he's coming into all sorts of difficulty. Julian, number eight, eight, eight. I like that number, eight, eight, eight. Make some noise for the JV. Oh, Booty bike riders! Wow! Oh, we got one down on the ground! He won his heat race! Now he's on the ground! From zero to hero and back again! It is a myriad of emotion! Oh no! Oh, oh Sombrero so went down! Oh no! He's not gonna have any sort of fiesta! <laughs> the spice! First and second place, they're real close, just inches from one another. One lap to go for the orange hooded sweatshirt. Yep. He's gonna be happy or he's gonna be crappy. Who's uh, it gonna be? One corner to navigate. There we go, our winner, Rodriguez in the sweatshirt. Put your hands together for 14 yeah. JJ Flaherty was telling me if this guy can keep a chain on his motorcycle, there's a good chance he could win. But Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I guess it happened. The prophet JJ speaketh. Exactly, he speaks through me when you believe wholly in him. Oh, yeah. So we got replays on the board, and it's oh, no. That was a shot. Imagine yeah, that... getting knocked unconscious wearing a, a, a sombrero. <laughs> sombrero. What happened? Well, I was wearing a sombrero. That's a rough day. What a cool, look at that thing. That thing still has dirt on it from riding it in a field earlier. Yep. I love it. What a cool class. There's our sombrero guy. Hey, I got a sticker. If you need it, let me know. I'll give it to you later. <laughs> So we have a winner, a real life winner. You can go home and brag to your friends. You are the JV Booty Bike Flat Out Friday champion. Chatty Maddie, can you please get an interview with that fine gentleman? Absolutely, make some noise Milwaukee for AJ Rodriguez. There's some of y'all that are really happy for you, man. Talk about with Booty Bikes. It's a really cool gig that you can get into. It's super easy and cheap, but man, what a community it has formed with the Winter Nationals and up into tonight with Flat Out to win it for the JV uh, Booty Bikes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Booty Bikes are a blast, man. They're, you know, Harbor Freight Motors and a, and a mini bike frame that you rode when you were a kid. And that's all it is. And I mean, tonight, bringing it home here at the world's largest indoor motorcycle race, man, that's gotta feel good. Absolutely exciting. I gotta give a shout out to my wife, my kids, my brother. I love you guys. Congratulations. Oh. One more time for AJ Rodriguez. All right, put your hands together for JV Booty Bike. I think that transponder zip tied to his handlebars is worth more than that entire motorcycle. Oh, 100%. Probably the helmet is probably worth more than the whole booty well, bike. It's time to go into our next class, but let's learn a little bit about them. They're called 65cc, and this is their university video. Now we have the 65cc class. The seven to 11 year old riders will be riding on 65 cc motorcycles. But what's important is they're learning how to shift. Come on, let's ride.
That's right, they come up out of the PW50s where they're automatics, now they're shifting. They have chains and they have foot brakes. You have the 01 of Ryder Ewert, the 85 of Bodie Altman, the 311X of Max Heyer, the 7 of Arlie Freeman, the 013 of Ryan Orton, and the 65 of Regan Pernalis and Jace Keel from Lake Mills, Wisconsin, and Style Smiley, number 39. Yeah, we have duty. All the punk rock kids are out on the floor right now. Hell yeah, they are. Look at them go. And we got a start happening. 65 CC final. Currently on course, and that is a fast guy in first place. Yep. Holy cow. The drone keeping watch, making things fair, but a, a commanding lead to get us started. Oh, one. He's really taking the charge. Ryder Ewert. Our leader battles for second place. We got a hot one going on. Don't count out Max Hare. He's a hard charger. He likes to go fast. Rides every day when he gets home from school. Yep, he's trying to reel in first place, and I think he's catching him. Yep. We got the drone zipping around. That's got to be a good feeling. Halfway through the race. Oh, one. Ewer working his way through traffic. Yep, this is where it's gonna get interesting. Yep, oh, a little, little bar banging action there. Look at him, reeled him in. It's happening. The race is for first. Hare and Ewer making it happen. We have a new leader. We're now That's diving fair. back inside. Oh, no. Oh, the second place, barely able to keep it on. I watched men eight times this elder absolutely get pancaked on that floor. He somehow recovers and is back to racing. Back there with that beautiful gold pipe on the 311 bike. Able to reel in the 01 of the Rocket. Bodie Altman running in the second. The 01 Ewert, our former oh. One lap to go. More handlebar banging in the corner section. And our winner, 65cc, make some noise, Milwaukee. Let's stoke this kid out. Mad Max Hair, put your hands together for him. Nice, Max. We got replays oh, on the look board. At that. It was a battle. That was some yeah, of the best racing we've had all night. You had to drive it in hard and really see how he held the inside. Yeah, the start was everything for 01, but then, yeah, Hair just kind of. Yep, you yeah, can't get wild and loose. You gotta keep that tucked in. Oh, that was the shot. That was the chance he had to come regain, and he did the right thing. He didn't plow into the side of him. Yeah, he charged in and overcooked it a little bit. Yeah, did the right thing to say the least. What a great looking race on 65cc. Chatty Matty, I believe you are with our winner. All right, Milwaukee, one more time for Max Heyer! Man, you had four laps to go and you just had to nail it through lap traffic, and you got it. How did that feel, kind of nailing it and getting that lead? It felt great. It felt great. Who do you got to thank you tonight? Thank you. Thank you to everybody? To who? Everybody. Everybody? Per. Sure. 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 Yeah. OK. Congratulations one more time for Max Heyer. Thank you. Woo! That kid's very thankful. Yes, he is. He thanked everybody. You know who we're thankful for? Our sponsors. Let's hear from them right now. Go to video. Oh, excellent.
music to my ears when you hear a Harley engine start up. My father started this business in April 1st, 1930. He bought it from an existing dealer in Kenosha, Wisconsin for $250. And your father, his whole life, never rode in a yeah, car? never drove a car. Did not like any way we got around, even in the wintertime, was on a motorcycle. A sidecar on the side or a box on the side, that's how we got around. It's in our blood, it's in our DNA. We're kind of the gateway into Wisconsin and they see our tower. We call it the jewel case. Harleys are the jewels. It makes me happy to be in this business, to see all the people and having fun. Nothing like riding a motorcycle. Nothing in this world. People from all over the world have come uh, through our dealership. A group of uh, people from Japan, France, Spain, you name it, all over the world are stopping by. I love Ukes a lot. It's a cool dealership. They have a bunch of old stuff in the Raptors. I love yep, there. So much history, so much race history going on there. The gateway to Wisconsin coming up from Illinois. You see those bikes in the tower and it just makes you feel like you're coming home. Yeah, it's a beautiful dealership. Please make sure you check out all the cool dealerships in the area, but Ukes especially. Put that on top of the list to make that happen. Well, we want to get to our next class. It is the Open Amateur Main, but first, let's check out Open Amateur University. Next, we've got the Open Am, or the Open Amateur. This is open to anybody of any age. However, you need to be 12 years old to ride a 250 or 14 to ride a 450. Oh, we got some fast guys in here. We got Rocket Altman. How's that for a name? We got Cole Andreessen from Sturgeon Bay, Trevor Anderson, Greg Avello, the road racer, Zach Bailey. Oh my God, goodness, he's got a lot of sponsors. Jack Brooks just won AMA Youth Rider of the Year, number 13. Gerald Chamberlain, Addison Clink, number 54. Seth Dahmer, Dahmer from 101 from Cute, Wisconsin, Jake Drummond. Andrew Embersole, number 28A, the 3Y of Dwayne Ferguson, and the 420, 420 of Justin Ginzer, and the 22 of Jake Plotter. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! I just said his name, and he jumped. Now, going to the third row, when you only have 120 feet straight away, that's a penalty. That, I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, think about it. Look at how, like, everyone's really skinny, but look how wide everybody looks down there. It is yeah. just arms oh, and elbows absolutely. everywhere. You make, there's a saying in Flatrock, make yourself big. And that's what they're doing. Look, oh, we got a waiver. Lots of donuts out there. Oh, yeah. That's a good whip. Wave them donuts. Let's see those things. Sponsored by Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. He blew the line and he had to restart his bike. Now he's breathing hard. Here we go with the open class. And they're off. Oh, no, it's getting hairy. Jack Brooks, AMA Rider of the Year, jumps out front. Wow, it's getting oh, crazy. Oh, we got one down. It is people flying everywhere. Runs over, gets the bike turned off. They go wide. Oh, wow. Brooks already getting into some lappers. Oh, second place almost thrown away. There is something happening at turn number two. You watch back tires. Watch every single rider getting loose out of there. Yep. That's the, the track is starting to change. That rubber's starting to get slick and hard. Unreal. 44. Sullivan challenging Brooks. Can't get it done. Keeps going wide. Working the outside. Sullivan working Brooks. Your leader. 13 and 44 respectively. Yep, going into turn one is in first place. Now coming into turn two onto the back stretch. Yep. Now there coming into three and four is side now. by side. Lat traffic number 54 is gonna play. He's not getting out of the way at all. Not a no. chance. Nope, he's, he's racing his own race. He doesn't even know they're back there. Sullivan gets behind him. Whoa, second place having to push the left rider out of the way. Yep, he doesn't, there's a race, he's not in it. White flags out. Sullivan's got one more lap to beat Brooks. He's gonna do it, he's gonna stick that front end in. Now one half a lap. Oh, and Sullivan almost threw away second place. And the donut guy taking the win. Woo! And stoked. He's gonna be eating all the Krispy Kremes tonight. 
Look at that fan crowd. That is awesome. Oh, look at the donuts. Oh. Put your hands together for Jack Brooks. That is how you support, to say the least. Open amateur main. Well, that was a great time. What a good class. That was a good race. I'm concerned on turn one and two, are you? No. Not at all? No, they'll adapt. You adapt or die. That's flat track. <laughs> yeah. How do you adapt when you have an ice rink on turn number two? Unreal. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. All the special people. Thank you to all the friends and family for making an awesome night to make it happen down here. Chatty Maddie, are you with our winner? Yes, of course, powered by Donuts. He won this one tonight. Milwaukee, make some noise for Jack Brooks. What does it mean to have all those donut love and family lovers behind you cheering you on tonight? They're totally making a scene, repping you with those donuts behind you. How does it feel tonight? Uh, the, all the donuts and all the people that are here to watch really motivated me to win. Yeah, I mean, you could you hear second place come up behind you a couple of times throughout that race? Oh yeah, I was hugging the inside. Yeah, so what? how important is that to hug that inside to get that win tonight? Uh, it was very important. If you don't, they could come on the inside of you and ruin your whole race. I'm sure you've got a whole crew of donuts, a whole 12-pack of them to thank. Go ahead. Uh, for, uh, pro, oh my gosh, Lucky Stables, First Weber, Eckland Motorsports, um, AFP, Robbie Bobby Ryder Corporation, Motorcycle Racing Team. And that's all I can remember right now. Oh, and mom and dad. There you go. Make some noise one more time, everybody, for the donut loving kid. Back up to you guys in the tower. Mark, did he just read his rear fender because he forgot all of his sponsors? Absolutely. A little bit. He's been there before, though. That kid wins a lot of races. That was a good, oh, yeah, we got out of him, too. Very Wisconsin. Up next, we got the women's boonie class. And to learn about women's boonie, we're going to go to our women's boonie university video. Next up, we have the Lady Cannon Women's Booty Class. You must be 18 years or older and have a Polestar booty bike. Let's get ready to rock, ladies. You look natural, Mark. <laughs> like a guy selling TVs for the first time, maybe natural, yeah. Oh, yeah, Yvette Sanchez, number 816, Brooke Tetsetsky. Number 48, Justine Marsh, number 182. She's already working double duty on the BTR bike. Angie Wilson, number 121, Ellie Bob. Number 66, Stephanie Skunker, number 79, Jessica Jaeger, number 76, Elizabeth Schilke, number 16, Sarah, the Dread Queen from Hartford, Wisconsin, 5X. Nelly, I can't, no, that's not gonna happen. Number five, Nebel Swabhaus from Hartford, Wisconsin, 11X. Mary Albert, Haley Ray Myers, number 333, Kendall Compass from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 777. And Crystal Moy from East Troy, number 711. Put your hands together for the women's booty. Here we go, lots of big famous names in this one. Lots of bragging rights happening. Oh, Yvette Sanchez out front. She comes to every booty bike race that she can get to. Probably 20 or 30 a year. Wow, that is awesome. You can tell all sorts of confidence. Perfect body styling, laying that booty bike way on its side. Yep, she's gonna get into the lap traffic and that's gonna be a factor. But second place, third place are all keeping up. There's going to be a race at the end of this thing. Oh yeah, they're gonna catch up because of the back markers. It's gonna be a factor. 10 laps here in the ladies' JV booty bike racing. Currently coming out of turn three and turn four is our first place rider. Wow, having a little slip up, able to recover. Yeah, don't count on Justine Marsh, number 182. She's a BTR racer also. Yep. She's got a lot of experience under her belt. She's a hard charger. And lining him up and taking him down is our first place contestant. Currently on the back stretch, coming into turn three and four. 816 on that beautiful custom booty bike. Putting that leg out there and taking names. Yep, she's got the skills. Little bit of problem on the back straightaway. We got it figured out. Oh, got one that went wide. Boom! Wow. Oh, 
Target fixation, always a problem. Yeah, don't look where you want to go. Or look where you want to go, don't look where you no, don't want to no, go. No, don't look where you want to yeah, go. Yeah, bad things happen Just when you... close your eyes and twist the throttle. If something's scary, don't look at it. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, look ahead. Look it's, this way. Exactly. The race is still happening. I love this. We do not cancel races. No, nope. Keep them coming. Keep them racing. Looking smooth, our leader, Sanchez, with one to go. She's going to win this one. I'm going to make sure she knows about it for the rest right. of her life. Yep, right Eight, there. 16, Yvette Sanchez. Beating almost 20 other women. There was a serious amount of ladies JV Booney happening out there. What a testament to just how talented they are. All these ladies laying down fast laps, lots of good racing, and more importantly, smiles everywhere. Yes, happiness. And they're very supportive of each other. That's a wonderful thing to see. I love the boonie bike racing. Anything, males, females, it does not matter. If you're on one of those motorcycles meant for children and you're an adult, I, I want to watch you race it. Absolutely. And they're all out there trying to help each other keep, get to the main, get to the main. Here, use my chain, use my air filter. That's pretty cool. You know, as an announcer, Mark, I understand you worked on a lot of motorcycles already this morning. Yes, I people. did. Yeah, we had a broken clutch lever. We had some gearing changes. Awesome, good stuff. We're gonna take it down to the floor to our friend with the winner, Miss Chatty Maddie. Beating almost 20 other girls here tonight in the women's booty class. Make some noise, Milwaukee, for Yvette Sanchez. The sport of motorcycle racing is growing in women, and it is such an empowering thing to see. How are you helping encourage this and with the bonding of the fellow community members with the boonie bikes? I mean, it's a team effort. Like, you see a chick and you go to a track and sometimes their boyfriends are into it and it's like, you know, you can do that too. So, I mean, anybody can really do it, honestly. You just gotta try it and keep coming back out. <laughs> For all the ladies and the girls watching here tonight at Final Friday and online on YouTube, what are some inspiring words for them to get into motorcycle racing? I mean, it gives you a lot of courage once you start seeing that you can do it and you you're out here with a bunch of other people that have just as much stoke as you. It makes it that much more better to keep coming back. The community is strong with the women's booty bikes. Milwaukee, make some noise for Yvette Sanchez, your women's booty main feature event winner. Up next, we have a video for our 85cc bikes. Cue it. Up next, we have the 85cc class. This is our premier youth class. This is only open to 9 to 15 year olds, and watch these kids crush it. <laughs> 85cc youth main. Who do we got, Mark? We got the 01 of Ryan Ewart, the 81 of Paige Keck, the 38 of Braxton Jacobson, the 106 of Caleb Oles, the 88 of Landon Brandizak. The 93 of Tony Passberg, the 05 of Rocket Altman, the 8 of Ava Freeman, the 75 of Jace Keel, and the 49 of Bentley Coda. Now these bikes are fast, Micah. These bikes are no joke. They have 85 cc's, they will rip your face clean off. Well, let's see if it happens here in the main event where all the marbles, oh, we got someone going to the third row. Oh, Branizak jumped the start before he even got the red light. Oh, you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of people to pass and not yeah. a lot of time. Just cut, just double, tripled his work because he's 30 feet behind on a 100 foot straightaway. And here we go with the restart, watch the lights. And they're off! Excellent hole shot. Everybody took off clean. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Barely holding on to third and fourth place is the battle. We got a battle for the lead happening, turn three and four. We got the 05 of Rocket Altman sliding and riding in third. Wow! Fourth is trying to catch him. Trying to find the inside lane, now switching it up to go to the outside. Gonna pass right on the third stretch. Oh! Shut the door. A very wild battle for the lead happening. Turn three and four. Oh, that is three our leader. Jacobson is almost threw it away. Unable to make the pass cleanly. He does the right thing and checks up. He's got five more laps to make it happen. Is this the time? Lap traffic is gonna be an issue. Oh, always is. Here we go. Wow. 
What a race. Keck fighting. I think Keck is our new leader, number 81. I believe you're correct. Yep. The scores catch up, and now the question is, can he reel him back in? Branizak from that third row start, already up to fifth. He's got three to go. Let's see, he's a hard charger. Oh, and the checkers are waving. Give it up for our 85cc main event happening here at Flat Out Friday. What a race. Oh, yeah, did you see the... Hope we get it on the replay. Rocket Allman bouncing off the concrete wall. I mean, that was absolutely pinned the whole time. There was yep. no letting up whatsoever. Oh, no. I mean, one of the past tried it three, four times, just had to stay consistent, kept it clean, which we appreciate. Yep. And the checkered flags came out. Lots of stoke happening on the floor right now. Those, like I said, those bikes are no joke. They're really fast. Yep. And they're really light and nimble. And if we can take it down to the floor, Chatty Maddie, are you with our winner? Yeah, Milwaukee, make some noise one more time for Paige Keck. <laughs> Hear all that? Man, that has got to feel good. You really have to plan how you maneuver at this track. Is there something going on with the development of the track? How is it feeling tonight? I mean, it pretty much feels the same all night. Just work with what you got. You work with what you got. No, I totally get it. And you worked with what you got, and it brought you here the win tonight. I'm sure you've got a ton of people you want to thank. Yeah, um, I want to thank my parents, uh, Metro Motorcycle, the old grog. Uh, Adam Keck, you owe me 50 bucks. Oh! And everyone watching at home. Well, congratulations. One more time, $50 richer, Paige Keck. Paige has ice in her veins. Yes, she, she does. Like, She's brutal. Holy cow. Not going to mess around with her. That, that one goal and is absolutely going to achieve it. All right, we're going to take it back to our sponsors for just a short minute. Check out the video on the big screen. You know, when I take the bike out like this, all my stresses just melt away. I hear that. This bad boy can fix anything. Yep, tough day at work. Nice cruiser sorts you right out. When I'm riding, I'm not even thinking about my painful cavity. Oh, well, you shouldn't ignore that. And every time I get stressed about having to pay my bills, I just hop on the bike, man. Oh, come on, man. You gotta pay your bills. You don't have to worry about anything when you're protected by America's number one motorcycle insurer. Well, you definitely do. Those things aren't related, so... Ah, yeah. Oh, that is a vibrating pain. Welcome everybody to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here in downtown where the Milwaukee Bucks won the world championship just a few short years ago. But tonight, we have turned it into Flat Out Friday. Absolute mayhem in flat track motorcycle racing. All the classes, all the drama, all the good time. My name is Micah Kranz. With me in the booth is Mark Martinick. Of course, we have our friend DJ Kevin down there on the floor and Chatty Maddie rounds out this amazing crew making these things happen. We have had an amazing night of racing. Are you having fun? I'm having the most fun ever. This is what I wait for all year long. Put your hands together for all these racers and all the fans. Give yourself a hand, come on. Amazing. Thank you everybody in YouTube land for watching us on the live feed. We cannot thank you enough for your participation. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. It would do us a whole bunch of favors. But let's keep going on to the next class. We gotta watch a video on Electric University. Next up, we got Open Electric. You got to be 16 years or older. The motorcycle has to be powered by a battery, and it cannot be a bicycle. No pedals. All right, the 01 of Brett Yankee from Madison, Wisconsin. The 47 of Levi Vandergallen from Waupon, Wisconsin. The 76 of Luke Sharp. 
from West Bend, Wisconsin, the 411 of Drake Tor from Vancouver, Washington. That's a commute. 72 of Matt Schill from North Brantford, Connecticut, also not kidding around. And the 15 of Zach LaFaber from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The 402 of Joshua Sticks from Antioch, Illinois. The 157 of Darren Hack from Muskego, Wisconsin. The 23 of Tyron Zanak from Guilford, Connecticut. The 68 of Tao Markovich from North Brantford, Connecticut. <laughs> Look at the safety equipment. Woo! What a quick way to lose all your teeth. Be well, that guy. And or swimming goggles. Oh. And they're off. That's right. Our friend Tor from the One Show is going to be in this class. That's pretty cool. Yeah, make some noise. You guys got to make the noise for the electric bikes. Pretend there are combustible sounds coming yeah, out of it. Make, make everybody make room room noises. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, first place getting oh, loose. Whoa. Oh, no. Keep it in the, just keep it pinned. That's the advice from our friend Mark. Our battle's coming down the front stretch right now. Now going into turn number one and turn number two. There's a battle for first happening coming into left traffic. And the flavor. Turns three, turns four. I knew, the, I knew those light ones would be a real good thing to have out here. Yeah, they're going fast out there. The battle's for the first couple of laps remaining. Oh no, it's down. Is that our leader? No. Oh, look at that tiny little tire. He's doing a burnout. Adorable. Woo! Our leaders are into turn three and turn wow, four. Wow, that is greasy. What turn. is going on with that thing? Yeah, we got ourselves a stuck clutch. But you know what's nice about this? No liquid being poured on the ground whatsoever. Because no, there's, well, yeah. No, no liquid at all. No. It'd be battery acid. And oh, be Tor bounces off the wall. Unreal racing. What do you guys think of the electric cross? Do you like them? Tell them. Scream at them. Yeah, make some noise for the electric bikes. The future is now. That's pretty good. Watch us some highlights there of the electric main event. Look at the mayhem. Look at him just huck that bike sideways. Then the other way, parts flying off of it. That one is homemade, by the way. Oh, you can you can home make one of these things? Oh yeah, look at that one. Boom! Oh, the tiniest little wheel. Look at the motor just going nuts, spinning crazy. <laughs> Zippity doo dah. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Everything's fine. Just Everything. keep it pinned. Yeah. We'll get us some of those circle racing. An amazing class happening. The future of motorcycling is bright, as you can see. You like your things are happening. Welcome to the Pfizer Forum. Welcome to the big screen. We're excited to have you out there. Go, Josh. More Josh plugs. I love Josh. Josh is getting his. That's for sure. Hashtag zero. Chatty Maddie, are you down there with our winner? Yes, Milwaukee, make some noise for Zach Lefebvre. You know, electric bikes might be the thing of the future, and now you've got a one leg up on the rest of us that's gonna try to learn how to do this. Talk about how the track is different riding an electric bike versus something with gas. Yeah, um, just super torquey. Uh, just another bike, you know? I have a couple bikes in the garage, so just decided to bring this one out tonight. And yeah, uh, thanks to the fans, ton of family here today. Uh, happy birthday to my beautiful wife on Sunday, Tara. Woo! Well, congratulations one more time for Zach Lefebvre. You know, we've got a ton of features continuing up next here. Mark, Micah, back up to you. Thank you, Chatty Maddie, for all of your expert Expert interviewing happening down on the floor. Shout out to all the people that don't know they're on screen right now. Hey, welcome to the big screen. Hey, it's nice to have you. Thank you so much, everybody. It's time to learn about our next race, and it's going to be a fast one. Let's go to Women's Hooligan University. Next up, we got Women's Hooligan. Bikes have to be 1986 or newer, street legal, 750 or larger engines, put your hands together for the ladies hooligan. How many tries did that one take, Mark? Be honest. Uh, 17. I bet. 17 takes. It's good that all the footage is now digital, so we can just erase it and start over. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to get the female hooligans lined up. All right. Well, we got them out there. And get them racing. 10 laps for the ladies. Here we go. Number 17 got her bike put back together. I mean, just how crazy is this to have them, such powerful motorcycles and, and to be on a floor like this? Oh, it's super crazy. Like one bad, one bad move with the throttle and you are on your butt. 
Yeah, like, I would... It, before you even know what's happening, the, you're on the ground. Yeah, all the props to all of the females out here that absolutely didn't even think twice to be part of this amazing event here at Flat Out Friday. And oh, no, they're, they're looking forward to it just like the guys are. They don't care. They want to race. Can you train at all? Does ice racing formulate over to this at all? Or no, there's, there's no, there's nothing like an indoor. Indoors are an animal all, all unto themselves, and that's, that's what makes it so challenging for all of our racers tonight. I'm excited to go to Portland to the One Show to see just how popular it's going to be to watch these classes race and grow and be in a whole different coast with a whole different group of people. But now we're at the Pfizer Forum letting the ladies hooligans do what they do, and they're keeping up, you know? We're only not even a full stretch away between first and second place. Well, 17's our leader, and she was about in tears uh, earlier today. She crashed and broke her brake lever completely off the bike, and she got it put back together, and she's out there racing. I presume you did the majority no, the I gathering of parts and stuff? I looked at it and said, sorry, can't help oh. you. There's nothing I can do. From what I understand, you're finding sprockets for people. You're yeah, doing sorts of like parts for people. I fixed a broken clutch lever with some bailing wire and some duct tape. That's awesome. And our winner, can I get some noise for our ladies hooligan winner of the main event here at Flat Out Friday. 17, Stumberg. Again, these ladies are way more mechanically inclined than I am. I know it. I, could, oh, yeah. I don't want to do anything to these things. The fact she can change a clutch lever, brake lever on her own. I can chase parts. I can't really. Yeah, you know. exactly. Oh, what do you need? I'll get that for you. Yeah. No problem. You want, you want a hot dog? I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, did you see the hot dogs the other day? They had yes, steaks. they were absolutely the best. Racer steaks, I heard yeah, they're called. They're, they're called racer steaks. Yep. <laughs> they couldn't even get them warmed up. We, we, broke, the, we broke the stove. <laughs> we did what we had to do. It's better to eat something cold than eat nothing at all. Yeah, man, when you're out there, just just like today, man, there was a ton, a ton, a ton of things happening. No time for anybody to eat, especially especially from when it happens, you know? We'll check, oh. out, check out the big screen. We got the drone flying through the pit area. If you wonder what it takes to put on a production like this, it is every square inch of footage we have out there being used by somebody. And these people get here really early in the morning to get choice pit spots. Absolutely crazy. On the floor, we have the winner of our female hooligan main, Miss Chatty Maddie. Who do you got? Representing the female hooligans, this is Chelsea Stoutenberg. We talked earlier. We were like, yo, we're going to talk later. We're going to talk later. You had a little bit of a trial, had to put your brake pedal back together. But man, from zero to 100, parking it tonight in victory lane, man, that's just got to feel good from what has happened today. Yeah, it was a really good day. It has been. You know, we talk about the family of flat track racing. I'm sure you had a ton of people help you out to try to get this bike back out here tonight. Yeah, I'd like to thank Lane Splitter's Garage, JH Signs, Full Throttle Cycles, my dad, my husband. I have a bunch of family here. And Maddie, I like turtles. You like turtles, Milwaukee? Make some noise. You have Chelsea Stoutenberg representing your woman's hooligan feature winner. Micah, Mark, back up to you. Awesome. That was a great, great representation of just a, a cool class. Love seeing the, the females on the big Harley Davidson motorcycles and the yep, hooligans. It's always good to see women out there get, getting after it on the Sportster. Our next race might be the most emotional race we have out here today. It's definitely emotional for me. It has a whole, a whole bunch of money behind it and a whole bunch of cool racing. I want to show you a video about it. Let's learn about the Charlotte Canes race. <laughs> Charlotte was small in stature, but her strength to handle both her Honda 450 and her Harley Davidson XR750 created fans from outside flat track. Everyone who met Charlotte was in awe of her humility, her style, and strength far from the track. The Keynes family took my family in at the track. Jack, Charlotte's father, was alerted that my boy and I would be participating in our very first flat track race. Jack set aside a spot in the pits and looked after us as though we were family. Jack and Charlotte seemed genuinely excited to teach us, protect us, and give to us. Charlotte was a longtime mentor to my son, Loyal. Her quiet, small suggestions still ring with us. Elbows up, says Charlotte. It is still the last thing I say to Loyal before he enters the race. In the first Flat Out Friday ever, Charlotte finished third in the pro race, in a race that both Jack and Charlotte were nervous about. They thought it would be too rough. Charlotte rode smooth and strong. After the race, Charlotte came to collect her money. She quietly asked if she could hug me. I asked why. I loved it, said Charlotte. Charlotte, this race is for you.
Now what's interesting about this race is every single lap has a specific sponsor that donated, and any lap you win, you win money from that sponsor. That makes it so much special. These are all of them up there. Thank you everyone for supporting us and for doing something extra special for a great individual. I know, Mark, you have a, a great storied history with them, for spending so much time at the racetrack. How awesome is a race like this, being so creative and having all these awesome sponsors? Oh, it's, it's wonderful to see. And Charlotte and Jack helped me and helped so many racers over the years. And to see her do that was some, really something special. Yep, and on the floor we have our friend Chatty Maddie. Please take it away. We do have 12 riders representing and racing 35 laps tonight. Starting 12 on the grid, make some noise for Ty Feitzer. Starting 11th out of Delaware, Ohio, it is Levi Bendel. Out of Beaverdam, Wisconsin in the 13, there's Morgan Mitchler. In the 35, L out of Waukesha, Wisconsin, that is David Kilkenny. Piloting the 64 out of Mount Calvary, Wisconsin, that is Nick Johnson. Out of Eden, Wisconsin, in the 57, excuse me, in the nine, Ethan Rosine. In the 57 now, out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin, that is Parker Lang. In the 56, at Apollo Up, Washington, that is Scott Barker. Sorry, out of the 23, out of Westminster, Colorado, I'm not forgetting about you, that is Dustin Paul. Starting third on the grid here tonight, out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania, in the 34, that is Cameron Smith. Starting second tonight, in the 90, make some noise for Brady Lay. And starting from the pole here tonight out of Glen Rock, Pennsylvania, in the 62, that is Daniel Bromley. 12 riders to set our starting grid here tonight for 35 laps around Pfizer Forum. Micah, Mark, let's kick it up a notch. Absolutely, $100 per lap goes in your pocket. Yep. How important is it to get that money? I mean, is that a pretty big sum for these racers? Hey, every little bit helps. And you know, that's the thing. These guys race for the paycheck. They have sponsors, they have bikes, but they're at a much higher level. They, so they have more commitment, more money. That's how it goes. I love this race. We have it every single year. It's an absolute testament. I've seen Charlotte's bike over at the Fuel Cafe a couple times. Yep. They, they, they actually still race it, right? People still kind of will throw a leg over it. Dave is on that one, number 35L. Dang, of course it's Dave. Yep. Why wouldn't it be, right? So we're going to get our riders lined up. $100 per lap that you are leading. Thank you to all of our very generous sponsors. We appreciate you immensely being yeah. able to make this race happen. Number 13 on the electric bike again in the pro race. Dan Brownlee looking for a three-peat. Who do you want to see out here? Who's the racers to watch? I would say, I'd say Bromley, Lang, Smith, number 34, those are my top three picks. I'm going with Kilkenny because he actually has more dirt on his uniform than anybody else out there. Yeah, works for me. I'm going to hit him with the hose later. He needs it. He could use it. Pretty cool. This race is absolutely something special. There's no other race like it on Earth. A great testament to an amazing individual. Flat Out Friday is proud to represent the Charlotte Canes race. And thank you to all of our sponsors donating $3,500. Every single lap is yep. worth $100 on this. And you know it's how special it is to even say you led one lap of this thing. And a lot, I'd say most of these guys raced with Charlotte. That's what makes it extra special. Like they're out there honoring her right now. Here we go. 35 laps, it starts now. Yep. We got all sorts of elbow banging happening. Oh. First $100 on the books. Yes. Oh, we got someone down. Turn one and two. Oh, no. Probably our leader looking for a three-peat. Oh, we got two riders to lap traffic down in the corners. Oh, no, Smith. Smith and Lang. Brady Lang from Campbell Sport, Wisconsin, running in third with the pros. Our leaders in first and second round in the bed now under the backstretch. Diving into turns three and four are our leaders. It is an absolute close race. Oh, they're coming up on a crash rider. No, absolutely no caution thrown out there. They just no. let them keep circling. Nope, they just go. 
Look at them fighting these bikes. Yep, coming on to our electric bike rider. And again, no one is letting up. There is zero amount of letting people buy. No, you cannot let up. You gotta stay on it. These guys will not give you an inch. Every pass is a bump pass. Every, every, everything is going on the line right now. They're trying to make that money to get to the next race. There is a lot of money going to the man in first place, leading every single lap so far. Bromley, Smith, Lang, your top three. Our leader currently in the turns first and second. Now into the back stretch. Look how smooth he is. Look at our leader. Yeah. Just running smooth. He makes it look easy. He really does. He looks so calm, so yep. collected. That bike leaned way over to the side, but second place is not going anywhere. No, Smith. Just got a big ride from KTM this year. Chomping at the bit. He is not letting it go. He wants some of that prize money. He's taking all of it home so far. 20 laps to go. Yep, two grand in his pocket already. Smith wants a chunk of that pie. So does Lang. Those are your top three. Our leader currently in turn three, now in turn four. Our leader crossing the start finish line. Number 62 is your leader, the one to watch. How's it gonna be? That traffic is a thing. There are people sliding in front of him all over the place. Oh, these guys will slide a bike. They do not care. Not letting anybody by. There is no free pass here at the Charlotte Kings Memorial Race. Mishler running with the boys on an electric bike. That is no joke out there right now. Now that is crazy, the fact to keep that much speed with him. Yeah, he's got a huge amount of talent. Our leader almost being taken out by lap traffic. That is crazy. They do That's not. Always a thing. Zero respect whatsoever. Oh, no. They're all racing. They're all looking for a chance. Leading every single lap so far is our leader currently crossing the start finish line. If you're running an eight second lap, that means that there's eight seconds between you and first place. That's not a lot of time. First to last, eight seconds, anything can happen. Whoa! Whoa, checked up good. We got a rider down in turn number two. Less than 10 laps remaining. Our it's leader is taking home all the money so far. Probably looking for the free peat. Uh, he loves Milwaukee, I can tell you that. I'm gonna make him buy me dinner. That's, that's it, he's buying us dinner. I want one of them burritos. Oh, we got another rider down, turn one oh, and two. No. Kill Kenny on the ground. Oh, wow, very rare to see that man go down. He does not crash a lot. No, no. he does not. not Pushing the bike all. off, he's out. A race winner crossing first, crossing the finish line now on the back stretch into turn three. Three to go, two to go. Bromley, Smith, Lang, your top three. The white flag is out. Leading from start to finish, our winner of our Charlotte Canes Memorial, Dan Bromley. From Glen Rock, PA, Dan Bromley. Thank you, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for making this happen. Don't go anywhere. We have nothing but excitement left for you. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of good races left. But how important is that race, Mark? Oh, a ton. I mean, you figure <laughs> gas is what? Oh, almost 350 a gallon across the country? He well, just got 3,500 bucks. PA is at least 12 hours away. You're exactly. not Exactly. I mean, that's at the middle of the state. Right. You can have sponsors, but you still need food. You still need gas. You need clothes. You need everything else. Whoa. Wow. Replay on the board. We got our first crash. Someone very upset at somebody else. Boom. Tag that back wheel. Mister kept it up. There's nothing you can do. You can barely hope to hold on. It is people sliding everywhere. There's anger out there. Thank you for not throwing helmets. Yeah. We don't need a NASCAR bad. clip here. And and with our winner on the floor is Miss Chatty Maddie. Take it away. Yeah, and he's one happy guy with a three P. Make some noise, Milwaukee, for Dan Bromley. You love Milwaukee, bottom line here tonight. And with a three peat, especially for the Charlotte Kane Memorial Race, how good does that feel? Oh, it definitely feels great. You know, I've done this on a KTM, a Yamaha, and now in Honda, so it's, it's pretty cool to show that uh, any brand can win this event. And to win the Charlotte Kane's Memorial is, is something special. 
I wasn't fortunate enough to know, fortunate enough to grow up out here and know her fully from growing up from racing, but uh, I was able to race with her on the professional level, and uh, she was just an amazing person, and the whole family, and uh, it's a tragic thing, but um, we're living through her, and we're living on, and we're, we're giving her a great name and, and doing something cool that uh, everybody here can uh, cheer for and, uh, and celebrate. So super excited. I, I couldn't be out here with uh, Mavis Shades, Mike Vinson, uh, Al Lambs, the whole team. It's uh, definitely a cool, a cool thing, and I'm excited for this year. Well, congratulations. Leading all 35 laps of the Charlotte K Memorial Race, make some noise for Dan Bromley. Mike on Mark, man, the party's only getting started here tonight. Exactly, and we need to take a little bit of a break to get the next couple of races set up. I promise you, it will be the most memorable races you have ever seen in your whole life. Don't go anywhere, check out this break. I apologize if you guys are sensitive to the smell of rubber. This is a collaboration between my brand, Royal Tan Design, and Royal Enfield. This is a Super Meteor 650. For us, this was a super exciting bike to build. told you there was more fun to be had and I was not lying to you. Let's check out our next class at the Stasic University. This is the Youth Electric Motorcycle class presented by Stasic. This is a new class and all the riders are between four and 10 years old. Come on kids. Time All to get some right. kids involved. Yep. I, this is the best thing. Like, you got to get a kid on those bikes. It, it's quiet. You can send them outside. Here, go ride your bike in the driveway for three hours. The 199 of Truman McDonald from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The 311 of Max Hire from Lannan, Wisconsin. The 10 of Corbin Redmond from Cuddy. All right, let's hear it for Cuddy. You must be. <laughs> yeah, I right. love it. The 76 of Jet Jones, the 15, and there we go, we're off. Man, who gets all these kids organized? I have so many questions. Yeah. Give a bunch of Mountain Dew and let them run. Here we go. Woo! Stasic Maine is happening. We already got some shaky handlebars out there. First. Yep. The battle's for second. Oh, and he goes, hair goes on the inside. Passes second place. And that hair, we watched him reel in somebody on the, what, 65cc race? Whoa! Yeah. Oh! Getting a little crazy, but still keeping speed. Here's where it gets exciting. This is like Mario Kart. Absolutely, this yeah. is Mario Kart. Yeah, bumper cars, but with, there's no bumpers. Oh, the first place, is the, the lead has changed. <laughs> Unreal racing happening. Now Fire it's, went back into first, Welch into second. Yeah, he, he absolutely played the game perfectly. He, he used traffic to set him up, took the inside lane. The lap traffic sent the other guy way to the outside. But the other guy's still trying to reel him back in, doing his very best, but there is just little munchkins all over the yeah, place. Yeah, 
That's a great way to put it. Every kid out here is up past their bedtime as of oh, right now. I'm up past my bedtime. I can tell, Mark. You're very grouchy. <laughs> Our leader currently in lap four, now crossing the start finish line right now. Here he comes. A couple of laps to go now in turns one and two, now on the back stretch. Just weaving his way through traffic like a garden snake in a lawnmower. Yeah, but look who's on his back tire. He's got company. Number five, not letting it go. Not at all. Got those special white tires. Yeah, you never know, man. Those gum walls might be a little bit more sticky. Yep. He's going to take a chance trying to oh, reel it oh. in. Wow. Oh. Almost hit the little guy. Almost ran over a four-year-old trying to win a race. Here we go. He has nothing but open field in front of him. Let's see what he has. And our winner, winning two classes tonight. Max taking it all. Pretty cool racing. Can I get some noise for all the children out there? Racing their little hearts out in our Stasic main event. I hear a rumbling. Look at how adorable they are. Look at with the cowboy boots. That was the pass right there. Watch yep, this. There it is. He let him up perfectly. He took the inside. Yep. And then the dude in the Canadian tuxedo took him way far out way there. Way out far. That was perfect. Number one, reeling it in. That's what we like to see. All right, that was All pretty right. cool. Look at that track. Yeah, the rubber. Just All getting, rubber everywhere. Just getting perfect there at the end of the night. I'm having a great time. We still got quite a bit of racing left. Absolutely we do. I promise you we're gonna show you some things tonight you've never seen before. Just make sure you stick around. And shout out to everybody watching on the YouTube. Please give us a like, give us a subscribe. The more you do that, the more we can uh, do more of these events, including when we go out to Portland in just a few short months. I can't wait. And now back to our friend on the floor, Chatty Maddie. Take it away. Hey, we've seen this kid before. Make some noise once more time for Max Hayer. He thanked everybody. He's the people's person, man, winning two tonight with an electric bike here. How does it feel to bring home not one, but two wins here tonight at the Pfizer Forum? Probably the same. Probably the same. It's hard being famous, I understand, I understand. You already thanked everybody. Now, if you had to get anyone to sponsor you, like in the whole wide world, who would you want them to sponsor your motorcycle? Um, uh, yeah. Stasic, I guess? Stasic? Stasic, if you're listening right now, this kid is on absolute fire. Milwaukee, make some noise for the two-time winner here tonight at Pfizer, Max Heyer. I think what we have next is something a little bit extra special for all y'all lovers out there. Please spread your cooties. We've got the kiss cam. Chatty Maddie, doing our best. Oh, look at it. We got first participants. And our very bad tattooed kiss cam. Look at that yeah, flash. That's great. <laughs> is it is it count if you drink beer right after it? Oh, you're in love. Oh, oh. horrible. Uh oh. Hello. Yeah. Did yeah. not put down the beer. Perfect execution. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Hey, you with the haircut. Yeah, you're in love. I can tell. I bet he smells nice too. I can tell from Yeah, there. he does. I do not. How about you two? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> They got the cow tongue action going. Some open mouth kissing. There's a nice family kiss. Perfect. Welcome to the party. Hey, guy not paying attention. You're on the Jumbotron. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, you got denied on your Tinder date, bro. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hi. <Do> you, <laughs> would you like to slam an old fashioned? Oh, we got a sleeper. Hi. Next to you are two people kissing. <laughs> How about lumberjack guy? Yeah, lumberjack guy. Look at all the flannel in that relationship. I love it. Yes, that was a perfect kiss cam. That was perfect. Only one awkward conversation came yeah, out of that yeah, whole that was, thing. Uh, that was really neat. That is what I absolutely like to see. Thank you everybody for coming and participating and for joining the kiss cam. I'm so pumped they didn't put it on us. <laughs> yeah, me too. I would have bit the bullet, Mark. I had yeah, to do I would have you know? done it for you. Yeah, I would have taken one for the team. Man. Yeah, sure. you're, you're a gentleman, a scholar. What <laughs> race we have next is our friends. Yeah, you knock oh, it off. No! You knock it off right now. Whoever's <laughs> in charge. I'm writing a letter right onto it. And now we're going to take it to our friends at Open Hooligan Maine. Chatty Matt, are you down there? It is now time for your Open Hooligan feature event today. 12 laps to schedule distance. Here is the lineup for that. In the 73, that is Clyde Stoutenberg. In the 33, out of Lamira, Wisconsin, that is Shane Westfall. In the 48, out of Stageville, Minnesota, that is Cole Feely. 
in the 17X out of Frazee, Minnesota. That is Bubba Samuelson. In the 85 out of Ancona, Minnesota. That is Robert Pretz. In the 15X out of Florence, Missouri. That is Caleb Zink. In the 100 out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. His wife already a winner, Josh McDonald. And in the 80 out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That is Jacob Holter. In the 33X out of Grafton, Wisconsin. That is Chris Hansen. In the 11 out of Chicago, Minnesota. That is Nolan Fratzi. Starting second here tonight in the 83 out of Maple Grove, Minnesota. That is Jason Fox. And starting on the pole here tonight in the 27. Make some noise for Terry Vestal. 12 circuits around Pfizer form to determine the winner. Michael, Mark, let's get this party started. Mark, how much, I guess, how many wins has Terry Vestal had in his lifetime? Hundreds. I mean, he Literally has, hundreds. He has so much credibility in the game to see him out here. He's been racing since he was four years old, and he's almost 60. I mean, he could be in the seniors class, but he doesn't want to do it. He's just right. going to keep racing no. with the fast guys. Cause, oh, yeah. I mean, every, I follow him on Instagram, and every time he's like, I'm racing Springfield, I'm racing Iola. Yeah, he's and everywhere. He's, he's doing the full miles, the half miles. He is doing full on at the, everything. This is so slow for him, right, in the grand scheme of the oh, world? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I guess you got to show technical. So who would you, who's your pick for tonight? Terry. Yeah, I think I'd go with him, too. Terry. It's funny, man. All this money going behind him. And, and like you said, Terry just has so much experience in doing this kind of racing. And it's sponsored by Ukes. Oh, that's, that's, some things are meant to be. Yeah. And that well, is he one lives, of them. he lives right by the, right by the dealership. Open hooligan main for the gentleman is what's up. There's 12 laps. We're going racing to keep well light. And look who's out front. Yeah. There he is. Three Ter wide. TV dinner. There's a lot going on, turn three and four. Oh my god, the back of the pack is where the action is. Now you tell me, does he have the strength to keep this lead? Oh, 100%. It's where he wants to be, right? He wants yes. to be way out front. Yeah, he was killing it down in the Battle of the Barn last month, and now here he is at another indoor, running away from it. Oh! Oh, we got one on the ground! Fourth place goes down, shuffles everybody up a little bit. Yep, everybody moves up a notch. Wow! Third place having to go the long route. Yep, had to go the long way around. Terry yes. Our leader, 27, coming into lap traffic. Yeah, currently in turns three and four, our leader not going across the start-finish line. The 83 of Fox. Sets up the pass Vestal, but bobbles it. Yep, staying right on his back wheel. He's got to now catch him up. Yep. We'll see what this lap traffic is all about. You got a, you got 15 400 pound bikes out there. It is not an easy job. No, not at all. Going wide down on that far end. Terry Vestal turns one and two now on the back strip. Yep. Our leader coming into turn three and four. Yep, going around his buddy Shane Westfall. Three laps to go, two they laps race to go. every weekend. Now he's coming up on Bob, on Bubba. White flag is out for Terry Mistal. Whoa! Oh. He rides the Bronco for eight seconds. Second place is caught up in our winner. Our winner, Terry Vestal. Open hooligan main. Terry is stoked. Another amazing, amazing trophy second place showing a great bit of gratitude to the great one that is TV Dinner. Why do we call him TV Dinner? I don't know. It's a nickname he's had forever. He's Terry Vestal. He is. He is. And that you have watched a legend. You have basically watched Babe Ruth hit a home run yep. by watching that man win a race here at Flat Out Friday. The Ukes Harley Davidson rider doing exactly what he came to do. Replay is on the board. He took the lead mark and just never gave it back he up. He never gave it back up. Nope. He had a battle on his hands, though. There were people knocking on that door. It was not a way out front, you know, dominated victory. I mean, he won every single lap, but yeah, look at it. He's, he's relinquishing in this yep, one. And there's a relishing, relishing in this one. There's his sponsor from Ukes Harley Davidson getting the victory lap. That is awesome. Winning the biggest race in North America right now, Flat Out Friday. 
Oh. Dubbin Hooligan here at the Pfizer Forum. All the marbles, no joke. 15 400 pound bikes making it happen. You gotta love the bike. You do. That's such an awesome looking motorcycle. Terry Vestal taking off the helmet. That could be anybody's grandfather right there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but turns out your grandfather isn't one of the greatest flat track racers in the world. Chatty Maddie, can you get an interview with our winner? I call well, him my dad. Can you make some noise one more time for Terry Vestal? Adding another one to the Flat Out Friday punch card here at Pfizer. This one did not come easy. You had second place hot on your tail the most of that race, as well as lap traffic being a really big part of this race as well. And you had a couple of bobbles in there. How do you stay calm through all of these variables to keep calm and win this one? Uh, I just worried what was in front of me. I didn't worry about who was behind me. I was trying to pick and choose my holes uh, with the lappers, and uh, it was working. And yeah, I had to calm down a little bit, but we kept it going. You are a veteran of the sport here, Terry. What are some advice you've got for all the younger drivers here? piloting the 60 cc's, piloting the 85, you're a veteran. What are some tips and tricks you've got? Just keep riding, keep riding, don't give up. One of these days it's gonna to come to you just like this one did. I've been following Jeremy for the beginning and this is our first one here, so. Well, congratulations. One more time, Milwaukee, for Terry Vesto! Back up to you. That's pretty cool to see someone like that that is able to, to say, I wanted this win, I haven't had it before. Like, that's a trophy on his, on his wall that he's never gonna forget. Absolutely. He wants to punch that ticket. All right, Mark, tell me a little bit about this next class. We already saw the heat main, the heats earlier. Now we're into the main with the vintage. What does that mean? Vintage bikes are anything 81 or older. Anything, two-stroke, four-stroke, twins, triples, singles, you name it. Is your motorcycle in this race? No, mine was a Harley. Mine was in the uh, JV Hooligan. What happened to your 81 Honda? Where's that thing? Oh, that's that's at home. All right. Thinking about what it's done. <laughs> Teaching it a lesson? Yeah. Amazing, Mark. We're getting him lined up. This is our vintage class. Yeah, two-stroke two stroke versus four-stroke. It's very interesting. You got torque versus RPM. Which one's gonna be the leader in this race? I don't know, we're getting down to our final couple of races here. Vintage Maine is on the board. Green light is up. And from third place to first, getting the whole shot. Number 33, I believe he's from... A, I believe he's on a 600 Yamaha, I wanna say. Going way to the outside, first and second place, now distancing himself from third, little bobble third place. For third, number 80 is on uh, in second place. Jacob Holter on a 1975 250 two stroke. That is awesome. Paskowitz, number 33. It's like you can collect something, but do you really collect it if you don't beat the living crap out of no, it? No, you don't. At all off opportunities. Yep. Oh, and Jacob Holter. Jacob Holter, number 80 on that two stroke. I believe he's our new leader. I believe he took it over. Our first place is third. Yes, he did. Four to go. Our winner now crossed the start finish line into turn one, into turn two, now into the back stretch. Ron B, uh, B, Pat Bean on the number three bike, running third. Running on a big Yamaha 500. Whoa. Oh, rider down in turn number two. Oh, who is that? Number 73, bro, all the way to last place. You go from here to zero real quick in flat track. And our winner is stoked. Air yeah. punching, the big old smile under that full face helmet. Now, yeah, that's a borrowed bike. Is it really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. How come he matches it so well? How does that happen? Uh, I don't know. He's really good at ordering stuff on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, an amazing vintage Maine. That was a great looking race from start to finish. The party is happening. We gotta clean the floor just a little bit. Can you walk us through some of our highlights, Mark? Yeah, well, the, again, the inside. Oh, and he did a little bump pass there with his, using his motocross experience when it got right by him and he just, the, 
First play, Feely could not get back around him. Look how wide he is. That elbow is way in the air. Yeah, and he pumped. knows it. Look at him. He knows it. He's like, yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Absolutely. Down to Matty Chatty. Close enough. Make some noise one more time, <laughs> Milwaukee, for Jacob Holter. And with your victory here at Pfizer Forum, you're going to win a Mama Tri jacket from Tobacco Co. From Tobacco Motorwear and Mama Tri, we figured golf champions get a jacket. Why not motorcycle racer? Congratulations. Jacob, wow. You gotta talk about kind of thinking out that start. You know, you had to, fight, had to fight your way through this one, through tons of other riders in this race, but at the line is where you're all equal and you've just gotta get that whole shot. Talk me through that. Yeah, you know, on the two stroke, it's a little harder to get off the line, so, you know, the guy in first got in front of me and I just knew I had to put in the work, so. Well, congratulations, Jacob Halter, everybody! Winning the vintage May. Excellent work, Chatty Maddie, as always. But it's time for the highlight race for me. It is. These are my people. We've been yep. doing races all over with the Winter Nationals, but we gotta learn about them. So let's go to our university video about our Open Boonie main event. Boonie class, you must be 18 years or older and you have to have a pull start only engine. Let's put some big people on a little bike and have fun. Here we go with our Booney Bike main event of the evening. Okay, the 70X of Donald Missile, the 28 of James Carter, the 75 of Andrew Prickett, the 12X of Jeff Smith, the 30 of Jason Markey, the 57 of Ryan Sirocco. Yeah, keep an eye on 57. Old school, they call him. Oh, what's going on with that? What kind of balls are those? I see huge balls being taken and put onto the ground. I don't understand what's happening. Uh, me neither. Look at, what in the heck? Oh my God. It's like a rock concert here. Yeah, make sure they go on the floor. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's not, that's good for scoring. Look at those huge balls getting thrown out there. <laughs> All the fun at Flat Out Friday. Good idea. We're lining them up, open boonie. Yep, you're gonna take yourself super seriously, we're gonna throw balloons at you. Yeah, you're gonna dyno your Harbor Freight engine, we're gonna throw, throw you balloons. for some loops. Yeah. Exactly. That poor drone doesn't know what to do. It is just <laughs> scattered out there, look at it. Uh oh. <laughs> so much good, I love Flat Out Friday. This is what it's about, maybe something just a little bit different, something just to keep yeah. it memorable. You've been to boring sporting events in your life, this is something you will never ever forget in all of your days. Yeah, there you go. Throw them, throw them donuts out there. Yeah, throw you. the donuts out there. Make it happen. Yeah. This is the crowd participation event. Look at all the boonie bikes we're putting out. Everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. What, like twenty-five boonie bikes at once? Everybody can race. It's fine. All the boonies. Run Let them. it happen. They're little. Run them all. You can throw that donut back out there. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How many laps are you doing, 75? A hundred, hundreds of laps. A hundreds of laps. Yeah. Till I'm sleeping. And they're off! Here we go, racing is happening. Oh, who's got the whole shot? Who has no idea? Number 75, I believe that's Andy Pickett. It is awesome out there. It's nuts because you don't know where anybody is. You don't see a single thing whatsoever. 
Hey, Michael, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, you know what I'm going to be. I will be at the Raven Eagles Ballroom for the awesome Mama Tried Motorcycle Show. I know my man Dump Truck's going to be there, David oh, Dan. Nice. There's a bunch of cool people, a bunch of cool builders. My buddy Chris A-Strike has a motorcycle in the in the show. Hey. I'm definitely going to go support him. All the new Harleys are there. Are they showing off the new ones? Yep. I can't wait. I bet you can get tickets for the hometown event as well. That's something I know I want to be at this summer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's going to be great. I'm pumped. All the cool sponsors. Get yourself a new wardrobe so you don't look like everyone else that shops at your local, at your local mall. So that's where I'm going to be. Are you going to be out there tomorrow? Yep, I can party like that. Boots for the people who still work for a living. Thoroughgood boots are made for real working people. Working people that understand quality isn't simply stated, it's proven. It comes from respecting your heritage, fearlessly pursuing new ideas, and a passion to get the job done. A dedication to quality you'll feel every single day. Satisfying your tobacco craving with thorough good tobacco leather boots. The buzz that comes with wearing these tobacco leather boots will last all day long. That's a good pun. That's a really good yeah, pun. Tobacco. Take, exactly. Take a break from uncomfortable boots with a classic thorough good American heritage boots made from premium American full grain leather. One of a kind look and feel. It's a match made in heaven for those who appreciate quality, durability, and the occasional smoke break. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're built in Wisconsin. Yeah. Thorough good of Wisconsin. That's awesome. Shout out to Bill. Well Incorporated, people that love motorcycles, Icon Motorsports, Meekum Auction, Speed Corps for doing what they do, American Metal, Dixon Flannels is sponsored, that's super cool, and of course our friends at Rivet for doing what they do, and that's uh, having fun. Thank you Lowbrow Custom, thank you Built Well, thank you Bare Knuckle Performance, all of our really cool sponsors that deserve extra special love. We got them off the ground. Woo! Again, it might, be, it might be a small motorcycle, but there are big consequences to say the least. Glad to see. Physics does not care what size your bike is. No, not at all. Not at all. But hey, on the bright side, chicks dig scars, and that's yeah, absolutely. Later, later on dump. Yep, he did get up. He is seeking medical attention. Shout out to the guy in the standard hat. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. Put your hands together for our down rider. He's up and he's okay on the gurney. And now he gets a cool ride on that on that gurney thing. And he'll get a sticker. Yeah. You get a real cool ride in an ambulance. You ever been in an ambulance before? And they go, oh, me? <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> Look at you. Look at hey, you. Hey, ask me how many concussions I've had. <laughs> I, I can tell by looking, Mark. <laughs> We're in double digits for sure. I can't remember. Without a doubt. Make some noise for the man as he gets wheeled off. That's a that's a brave. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. We like, we like seeing a little bit of sliding out there, but again, you know what's not forgiving? Concrete. Concrete. Yeah. It's hard like concrete concrete is. You'd think more rubber getting pushed down would help, but uh, well, no. it didn't. Know what I mean? You know, yeah, I do know what you mean. Armor, always a thing. Yeah. You're going to want to wear all of it. It's so funny seeing dudes barely wearing any armor. Sometimes there's people covered head to toe. It is an absolute, you know, rung what you brung kind of thing, but yep. especially this class. It's oh, look at that hairdo. Wow, I love that hair. Yeah, looking good. Hey, kids, wave at the camera. Hi. Welcome to the party. Look, you're out. Look, oh, it's you. Oh, yeah. Shout wow. out to you. There's our drone friend. Drone. Scaring the people. <laughs> wow, that guy's like, look out, there's a drone. What drone? Oh, that one. Oh, that one. Hey, guy at the bar, nice to have you, sir. Yeah, did you get a five-point box of tier? Thank you. Thank you again, Pfizer Forum, for letting us make terrible decisions with all, <laughs> all of your hallways, all of your people. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Woo! What's up? Guy throwing gang signs. <laughs> what up? <laughs> welcome to Milwaukee. Yeah, welcome Come to on. the party. Thank you, Flat Out Friday. We got people. Okay, they're themselves. lining them back up. They're going to do a full restart, looks like. That's a good idea. I think they only had a lap and a half in. And now there's more consequences. Yeah, now one, the, the one made it over here. The balloons of consequences. They're not, they're balls. They're balls, uh -huh. that's right, uh -huh. sorry. Exactly. They're just the, large balls. They're large balls. Everywhere. So many jokes I can't say right I now. I know, you cannot. <laughs> you can't bring up what color they are, you can't bring up the size they are, even yep. though there's easy puns to be yeah, made. Yeah. Nope. The nope. smoothness, no. You, no, not at all. <laughs> the shape, not. you don't say anything about any Nothing. of that. Nothing. Nothing's going to happen. It's just, it happens to be... I'll text them to you later. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you'll be like, why? Shout out to everybody at YouTube writing probably terrible comments <laughs> yeah, about yeah. the announcers. Shut those two guys up. I will, hate be, them. I will be watching later and replying to all of your comments. Every <laughs> single one, I will find you. I will just delete them. Look at all the people out there. It's somehow grown more. And my friend Old School now made it into the front lane. 
There you go. Be careful the guy on inside number 57. He built that motorcycle, that booty bike from yeah. the ground up. Yep, with a soldering rider and his zip ties. Does anybody know, yeah, if uh, the transponders get red when there's large black balls hanging on the uh, start finish line? Oh, there's one. It just won't go away. Look at it. It's fine. It's fine. Look at, look at the back straight. Phil. I love it. Someone's going to ride through that just for fun, and I'm very excited for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I get a, a number number one, what was that, 94 all the way in the back. He'll ride through for fun. Yeah. Because why not? You know, a lot of these guys are on hooligan bikes, and then they switch to a booty bike. I love it. How is that for a gear shift with your brain? You go from a 400-pound motorcycle to a 120-pound booty bike. It's like playing t-ball and then going right to fast pitch like semi-pro yeah, baseball. Right, right to triple A. Yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. cool. It's, it's awesome to see people do it. And it's tons of ages. There's guys with 40 hour a week jobs. There's, you know, kids oh, yeah. still in college. Like this is for anybody that just likes to anybody. ride. Yep. And all you gotta do is go on Facebook, find one, throw a Predator motor in it, and go race it. Wow. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Works for me. I love the drone. <laughs> that poor drone is dodging things out there currently. Yeah, it just got a lot harder to fly a drone because there's a million balls. Exactly. It looks like we are lined up. We got to finish this open boonie bike main event. That is still a lot of bikes. And then we got one more race to watch, which is uh, the one that always goes viral. Yes. I love that race. Very excited to see what we have out here this year. In the, can we call it the creativity class? That's really the creativity what it is. Class. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's for the creatives. The, the arts and crafts class. All the art, yeah, it's the art students class. Oh, check out Old School with the skull on his bike. Yeah, that's the man to watch on the inside lane. <laughs> that, man, <laughs> that man has raced every single night. I'm sure nursed a hangover every single morning. Yeah, absolutely. And is now here to do what he was put on this earth to do, and that is race booty bike. Got that's all he races. He's he got his Walgreens readers on for he, goggles. He drove to Sturgis one year just to race those little booty bikes. Just to bikes. race a booty bike, Eight, 18 hours in a car. I love it. The commitment to this stuff is awesome. It is a great hobby. It's something you can do into your elder years. Maybe you were a skateboarder. Maybe you were a BMXer. You're looking for that next thrill in your right. life. This absolutely. is possible. There's such a cool community behind it. And it doesn't cost it. you a million dollars. No, not at all. It's very affordable. And more importantly, you can build it. You can do it yourself. That is, in fact, yeah, very, very satisfying as well. Yep. They're so fun. Yep. Whoa! Drone footage on the Jumbotron. Check it out. Going fast, going fast. I feel like... I feel like there's a science experiment going on <laughs> with the with the with the balls. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> like, this is what an inside of an atom looks like at the Pfizer. Yep. Let them race. Let them race. All right, we're getting all of those balls spread to make them easier to um, maneuver. We, we want to make sure that every, every corner has, has their own consequences. All right, all right I, see, I can see guys pulling bikes to life. Got to have a pull starter, 10 or 12 inch wheels. We got somebody running back to their motorcycle. Oh yeah, probably had to go to the bathroom. Keep an eye on that inside lane, number 57. My man old school is dreaming for things like this. Oh yes, he lives for this, there is no doubt. I love it. Here we go off the line. And Pickett, number 75, jumps into the lead just like Whoa, Whoa 28 goes wild. Old school went from eighth place to fourth in just one corner. Now into the, onto the podium with Now him. he's on to third. He's gonna reel in first and second. Here we go with some lap traffic. Well, here, comes, here comes Andy Clark, number 52. Whoa! Snatch that away. Shout out to Icon for all those super cool jerseys for sponsoring the Booty Bike Absolutely. Blast. Absolutely. We appreciate you for that awesome, awesome custom painted. Whoa! Custom Balls painted in the air. Car. Balls in the air. One lap to go. The white flag is out. There we go. Checkers are out, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of the booty bike class? Yell at them if you like them. Put your hands together for Pickett, Carter, and Sirocco. Old school.
school on the podium. I love it. That's going to make his whole year. Yep, I want to tear it down. <laughs> now he won't yell at Jeremy about for anything. That's nope, all no, for at least a week. <laughs> exactly. Shout out to everybody that makes Flat Out Friday happen. Not just the names you recognize, but all of the scorers, all the track people. Yep. Jeremy's poor sister that does the majority of work and no yes. one ever thanks her. Like seriously, there's so many cool people that make this happen. But we have the highlight. We have the exclamation point coming up next in the race. You do not want to go anywhere without seeing what we have up our sleeve. But here's some replays. Mark, you want to talk about them? Yeah, watch Andy Pickett here. Working through 20 booty bikes to win this thing. And balls in the air, on the ground, everywhere. Focus, he got it done. You gotta love it. That is so cool. Handing the checkered flag back. You don't get to keep that. You get one lap. Pretty sure he's on a barred bike as well. We might take a picture of you. We'll see what happens. This community will help you out. They will love you. Absolutely. We're gonna They'll let it happen. What you need to do. Again, this is the most user-friendly class. We want you. If you're sitting in the stands thinking, I could do that, you absolutely can. And this is the class to start with. Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, find one, throw a motor in it, go. You probably have your one when you were a kid just laying around. Absolutely. You might even have one laying in a barn somewhere. You heard him say it. You go to Harbor Freight, the engines are very affordable. Tons of YouTube videos on how to mod them and make them cool. Oh, yeah. Very affordable class to get into the boonie bike racing. We'd love okay. to have you. And now, Chatty Maddie's with our winner. Please take it away, Chatty. Andy Pickett, Milwaukee, make some noise. Wow, what a booty bike race. I have no idea what's going on. All right, what's up? You have really made the crowd go in here. The booty bikes is one of the best Booty bike race here, but Milwaukee, make some noise one more time. We got to keep this show rolling. One more time for Andy Pickett. Let's keep the show rolling. I see some already some crazy stuff going on. I would just like to say that that man's entire victory speech was just him smoking a cigarette, yep, which is like the perfect, perfect, perfect amount of interview. Let's go on to our next race. It is time for the goofballs, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. I see a Power Ranger. I see. I have no idea. Oh, we have two giant cowboys. Yeah. This class is as important in just costuming as it is what you're riding. Oh, and then, you know, let's bring the king of the hooligans out on a bagger. Oh, look at that. Danger Dan out there riding. Is that a chopper? What is that thing? I have, yeah, that's his, actually, that's his chopper that he rode here. We got eyeball guy. What up, eyeball guy? Yeah. High five residents. Yeah. There's uh -oh. some creativity. Oh, we got a T-Rex. We got a T-Rex. I think we have Bigfoot on a sidecar rig. I see an Easter Bunny. What up, Bigfoot? Yeah. The goofball class is up and happening. Oh, we got a skeleton bolted to, oh my God. Wow. I believe that's Davy Jones from Davy Jones Locker. Look at that. He's the Pirate King. And they're off! Here we go, the goofball race! In a race that, that nobody absolutely cares about, but everybody loves! Not at all, it doesn't matter. Look at the man on the chopper going around the outside of the banger! Woo! What is that? Oh, we got crashes! T-Rex is down! Oh no! Makes a down! Makes a mockery! He's gonna turn himself into a fossil! Danger Dance ape hangers just caught the people having a nice quiet dinner trying to enjoy their date. <laughs> He's, oh, he's got his turn signal on on the banger. T-Rex has no idea where he's going. He cannot see no, anything. He can't see nothing. We got the yellow guy on that beautiful Oh, no. Guy. Looks like Davy Jones locker is starting to smoke up a little bit. Is that a good sign, Mark? No, that's not good at all. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, Nothing he's like in the fog. He's maybe in the fog of the ocean with him. Maybe his skeleton's on fire. Yeah. Look at Danger Dan in a full-on chopper motorcycle out yeah. there. He's ridden that bike all over the country, and now he's racing it now. In inappropriate. I believe the eyeball might still be in the lead. It doesn't matter, Mark. It no, does it not does matter. not matter. I don't even know. This is all about having fun. 
Let's look at the raked out boonie bike out there. That's tiniest awesome. boot. That's the one you're going to race next year. Yes, I will bend that head too. <laughs> and enjoying themselves with a fine dinner. Yes. What do you guys think, Milwaukee? Did you have fun watching the goofballs? Did you guys have fun tonight? I want to hear it. Put your hands together for Flat Out Friday and Mama Tribe. Unreal. That was such a cool class. One of the best things. Look at Chatty down there actually eating with them now. That's, that's, that's the most fun. fun. Chatty Maddie, what's going on down there? the phone now I'm so sorry. I don't know where my camera guy is. I gotta know, how was the dinner date? How's it going? Did she say yes? How's the dinner date? How's popcorn? We met on Grinder and she said yes. Who's she said yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm one but two. Give me more of that popcorn. Thank you so much, Pfizer Ford. Let's get out of here. Mike, Mark, back up to you. Unbelievable. Well, Mark, that was another Flat Out Friday. I will never forget. What is your favorite highlight? My favorite highlight was Terry Vessel winning the Open Hooligan. I agree. I think my favorite part was watching all the females out there having some great races, racing all the classes. We literally had to cut off almost all of them because there were so many people participating. It's something I will never, ever forget. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you are a very special place. Thank you so much for joining us. On the 10th one of these, we have done Flat Out Friday in the best venue in Milwaukee here at the Pfizer Forum. Thank you so much for joining us in all this. On behalf of myself, Mark Martinich, DJ Kevin, Chatty Matty, Jeremy Brock, Scott Johnson, Warren Hire Jr., we cannot thank you enough for coming and supporting these wild ideas that we have. Thank you to all of the bands. Thank you to all the volunteers. Thank you to everybody that works to make this happen. We cannot thank you enough. And of course, thank you so much, YouTube, everybody that signed in to watch that couldn't be here tonight. We miss you. We'd love to see you at the next one. And if there's anything I can say, it's get on those boonie bikes. Chatty Matty, do you have something you'd like to end with? Yeah, once again, thank you all so much for coming out here to Pfizer Forum here tonight. Thank you all so much. I hope you had a great time at our party. Huge shout out to my family and friends located in section 114. Thank you so much for all you do to support me. Thank you all for coming out tonight here to Pfizer Forum. Have a good night. Chatty Matty, that was wildly inappropriate. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> we I want everyone to have a good time at the after party and see you tomorrow at Mama Tried. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Yay!
wait, people, you're still here? That's it. It's over. I really appreciate you coming out. I really appreciate you coming to Milwaukee. We'll see you tonight at Boone and Crockett. Thank you.